So I've heard nothing but good things about Inscription, so I want to play it. It's got like 50,000 reviews or something on Steam, which is crazy. Is this game free? If you ignore the amount of money it costs, yes. I mean, he's not wrong. Oh, I meant to press that button. Cool. Don't devolve a digital okay. make cool stuff. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Hmm. Mm. Impressive. New game. Oh, continue. Okay. So we're continuing, but I haven't started before. Another challenger, it has been ages. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Hmm. Play the squirrel card, but I want to play the wolf card. You are lacking sacrifices for that creature. Okay. Squirrel. Now play your stout. How? Oh. Stack costs one blood sacrifice. Sacrifices must be made. Oh. Oh, you press S to go backwards, I see. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Uh, your stout stands unopposed. Number on the bottom left is his attack power, one. Your star dealt me one damage. I add it to the scale. Okay. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Hmm. Like this. All I won, you... I, I tilted it down. <laughs> Your stout stands in the way of my charity. I carry do two damage to your stout. That means your stout's health is two less. That's how math works. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It is your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a scroll. Okay, I'll take a scroll. How dull. That's cool, you can draw a random card or draw a specific card, that's cool. So you can play a scroll. You can go back and then we can Get a wolf. <laughs> Fear not, the beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real, but you will not see it again. Oh, but you will see it again? Okay. I see. Ah, uh, maybe this is a bad move, because when the coyote just kill me, because I only have two life? Um, is the volume too low, guys? Should I turn up the volume? That's good, okay. So move to the next turn. Oh! I see, because I attacked first, okay. Because you are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice, a random card from your deck, or the certainty of a squirrel. Random card. River Shaper. To play that river... Oh, River Snapper. To play that ri river snapper, you need more sacrifices. Um, how do I know how many sacrifices it requires? I guess I guess it needs two as well. So I just have to end my turn. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. How many weights does it need? Pass. I only, I have no more cards. Go scroll. Sacrifice them both. Oh, it's one six. That's not very good. Can I? Oh, I can look. I can look at the cards when they're in my hand. Oh, definitely should have done that. 
You've won this match. Oh, that's good. They won't all be so easy. All right. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Okay. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. A caustic adder, damage from its poison bite is always lethal. The undying cat sacrifice the poor beast does not kill it. Oh, that's cool. Only one may grace your poultry deck. Well, this infinite sacrifice thing is cool. Wait, what was this thing again? Oh, I see. So this will just kill a creature regardless of how much health it has. But yeah, get, get infinite cat. Infinite cat is cool. What's better than one cat? A cat that cannot die. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. Okay. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break its case. Oh, breaking case of emergency. And have a second. Oh. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. I see, so I can carry three items apparently. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You help me. Play along for now. That's confusing. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Oh, so he's going to play a wolf cub? A card bearing this sigil the a card bearing this sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Oh, interesting. Okay. And uh I gotta put it down a scroll. Can I then sacrifice at the same turn that I summoned it? Yeah, I can. Cool. So we have infinite cat. Haha. -ha. But then I can. I've got these guys over here in bottles, but now we can. We can now summon that cat to bring out a stoat. Here we go. Um. This stoat is scaring me. I want to sacrifice it. Nah, it's probably, it's probably fine. So I put down a squirrel as well. And sacrifice these two to bring out the snapper. I have quite a board now. What is this thing? Oh. A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. Oh, I ripped out my own tooth to fuck his board? Uh, to fuck his scale? Weird. Okay. Well, now I know what that does. Oh! The, it attacks directly in front of it. I see. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Um, I only get one a turn. Wolf. It's like a sacrifice stout to get a wolf. Um... I'm gonna do it. No, I don't think I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm not gonna do it. The, the stout seems weird. He has a bat now. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ah, I see. Half my bat flew right over your river snapper. I see. Can I clear this boulder myself? No, I can't. Well, he's going to clear it for me. Another wolf? I'm, I'm going to keep the stout trap. At least I could attack the... I got no more cards. Okay, so now we can summon the wolf. Okay. I, I, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I sacrifice, I can, I can then pick where I want to put the card. Okay. So can I not ever remove the cat? 
That's an interesting downside, because the cat is now perfectly blocking now. OK. It's like I'll never get that space back. You're out of space. There's no room for that card. Yeah, so I, I, I wonder if I can ever solve that. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloody train. Huh. And this game looks nice. It does. Volume still good, guys. The cat will always infinitely spawn. Okay. Or does the cat only infinitely spawn if it's sacrificed? Hmm. Um, the Meek Sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble flying creature. Uh, oh, I, I want to examine the wolf bit. I guess I took the wolf. So the wolf grows stronger after a turn. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Oh. Well, goodbye, wolf cub. Goodbye. Wait. Pick me? Oh, to make someone stronger? I guess? I wanna, okay, well, I'll play along with your fucking thing. What an honor. Oh. A ghastly spectacle that the soul of the wolf club but the soul of the wolf cub now lives in the stout. Oh. I should have not listened to the stat. I should have put it in the cat. Oh. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Um, so I guess that means he can attack over me? Yeah, so even if there's a creature opposing it, you can fly over it. Okay, that's interesting. Seems kind of cheap. So we put down the squirrel, and we sacrifice it for the cat. Uh, all I have is the cat. Oh, actually, I got the squirrel here, so use the squirrel here. Then I'll summon the wolf. Uh, I guess I want to kill the coyote. Yeah. When, when he's there, like, he's, he's going to play those next, okay. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Yeah, so he won't uh, kill me, but I'll kill him next. That's a lot of damage. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Ah, uh, okay. May I should have kept the squirrel to attack the bat. I'm dying now. I think I need the consistent squirrel. So I can sacrifice them both for the river snapper. Okay. What's he bringing out there? A wolf, yeah. How much more damage can I take? I guess a lot more, because I... Because we'll stay in balance. So I have to be, like, losing... A loss to die and oh I have to be beating him by a lot to win okay um, I need something to block him a squirrel would do that now actually I get a squirrel because then I can do this and put this one here okay guaranteed wolf you're two damage away from winning oh nice um, He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic. Really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Is it about me or him? I can't even... I can't even use him. Oh no, actually I could sacrifice him. I could sacrifice a wolf to bring him out. 
Oh, sacrifice the river sniper. Back on the board. Well, he seems happy. I'm gonna win regardless, but... That's the way that wolf snapped its neck. It's weird. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. It's just kind of creepy. A raven. The contriving... Oh, the, con the conniving raven. A blight upon the skies. The stalwart snapper. A near impenetrable defense. The flighty elk, it moves after being attacked. Oh. Oh, I want to read what... What it does. This looks like a rest stop? This looks like another sacrifice? Yeah, let's sacrifice something to the stout. Sacrifice our new raven. I couldn't get the stout. Oh, the cat will be interesting. Oh, it has no damage, though. Oh, so all I did was transfer the ability from the raven to the cat, and the cat can't do damage. That's completely pointless. Awesome. I understand. Okay, well... Um... He's got a grizzly bear coming over here? Oh, shit. Well, we can actually block them with the cat. Presumably. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, the cat actually dies? So the cat isn't immortal. It's only immortal in terms of sacrifices. Well, that is very bad, actually. I need something good here. Oh, this is bad. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I'm gonna die. Did I die immediately? You've lost? Oh no. Using this as a learn using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the bow beside the door. The candlestick? Was it even possible to win there? The candlestick? Oh, I'm walking around. What the fuck? I can't move towards that guy. Candlestick near the door. What candlestick? Oh. He's still there looking at me. I don't know the code. I feel like something's about to jump out of me from that. Um. It's trapped in there. I guess this is some sort of puzzle? Didn't it say candlestick near the door? Oh shit. Oh here? Why can't I get the knife? Give me the knife. It said candlestick near the door, right? Ah, there it is. Okay. Got it. Okay. I swear I clicked that before, but I guess it wasn't close enough. I need... Is that my hand? Did I see my hand? Oh, his hand? Oh, I need to be here? Oh. Now sit back down. Okay. Let me explain something to you. What? There was one... That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Oh no. Now where were we? Oh shit. Okay. Um... I wanna see what this bag is. Isn't the bag just items? Oh shit, wait. Oh no, okay. Okay, um, fuck it. We'll go this way. Get into the card. 
Elk, yes, it moves squares. Adder kills things instantly. Bullfrog, the watchful bullfrog, it leaps in the way of attacking flyers. I see. I think I want elk. Actually, I've got too many strong creatures. I need more one sacrifice creatures. It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. The fuck does that mean? Oh, if I, I can sacrifice it for more blood than normal. I see. Choose one? Yeah, we'll take this. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Oh, so that enables me to hit over the top of my enemies. A rock may get you out of a hard place. A powerful item, turn this and it will, I'll skip my next turn. Ooh. And so this can block a creature that's attacking me. Oh, this is actually very interesting. Um, I think having him skip a turn, probably the best. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. What? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items you carried on. Interesting. So I still don't know what the bonfire does, but the, the so these are items, okay. What? The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of, the me of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. He haw, twas the prospector. He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss. The mule's key. Okay, well we've got this shitty upgraded cat, which I should never should have made. Um can sacrifice him and get the stout on the board. This spot, you sure? Uh Okay, to be fair, I probably should have put him in front of the coyote. Oh yeah, these, the, I should switch these. I can't though. I'm dumb. No! My cat's gonna die! Um... Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. What's the stack gonna evolve into? No, my cat! Okay. So I just got one stat on each one. Two stats here and one stat there. So basically, did it get the wolf stats? Maybe? Um. Yeah, this is not good for me. I should have just got a squirrel. No. Okay. I desperately need a squirrel. To kill this wolf cub. Wait, the squirrel has no attack! Oh shit. Oh no. Uh, and now my squirrel's gonna die. Okay. I play this as poorly as I possibly can. Uh, I have to kill... I have to... I have to kill my stout. I don't want to kill my stout, but I have to. Wait, seriously? Oh, man, he's not happy. No. Okay, it's fine. Oh, but now the wolf got stronger. I should have killed the wolf. No! More cold for me. Oh, no. Look. I definitely made mistakes. I know that. I understand now. Oh, I had items! That's true, I'm dumb! Oh, no. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your 
mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Well, they both have the same cost. Add another. This time I will use the power and health. Okay. You can now choose a card from which we will keep... From which we will extract the sigils. Okay. I never did ask your name. Um... Uh, it's fine. It's fine. There's now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. What's it gonna show? Here we go again. Another challenger. Okay, so, perhaps you can understand Bones. So now I understand how to play, I won't fail again, okay? I'm sorry. I, that was really embarrassing. I'm sorry. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. The fuck are bones? You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes, for any reason. Oh. That's cool. Okay, so we're gonna check what he's doing first. Rattler. Rattler? Okay. No, no interesting effects, okay. So put down the squirrel. Okay, so we don't have enough bones for that, but we can can get the stat out. From the from the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. Okay, so got one bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Okay. Okay. Um. Right, go. No, I should have blocked the. Why did I not block the snake? Why did I not block the snake? Why am I- I- uh, I'm so dumb. Oh my god. Okay, so put out the scroll. Sacrifice both these. <laughs> Killed him while he was asleep. Yeah, cause fuck him. Guess I want him on his own thing and I want to summon this guy over here. Cause the one one, he will kill him. Okay, good. I'm good at this game. He's bringing out another snake. Bullfrog, eh? Um... This possum sucks. This jumps in front of attacks. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it, for, for airborne guys, he'll block. Okay. So he's gonna come through and kill him. Oh, no, I won. Good. Yeah, fuck that guy. Right. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Are you for real? Really? It's beside the safe. Alright. Wonder what that's about. S oh. A card bearing the sigil sigil. Oh, okay, it's just a book, okay. Let us continue. Okay. Amiga Coyote, but what did you expect from only four bones? Oh, interesting, okay. A nefarious, oh no, the nefarious Rattler, a brittle creature, once passed its monstrous fangs. That's six bones, okay. The unkillable cockroach, it returns to your hand after dying, ooh. I like unkillable things. Let's take the cockroach. You know, you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. I'm no tyrant. You may stand wherever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. So there's definitely stuff that I can steal here, but I don't know what. So get some atoms. Uh, so I've had all these explained before. Um, 
guess I'll get the players again. I mean, I already had players, but... Okay, so we put out the squirrel, as always. I have no other moves. It's a good thing I, I, I put it that way so I didn't get hit by the... Because he could have killed my squirrel. Um, I want a squirrel. So that I can put out a woofle. So you can't even hit over the... Oh, because this has a block flyer thing. Okay. I can put out this possum, but do I want to? No, I wait for the cockroach. Um, but the, yeah, okay. So killing the enemies doesn't give me more bones. Uh, okay, we'll get another one of these. Bullfrog, okay. Well, now I want to put out the possum, because then I can summon... Actually, I should have waited, because then I could have put the bullfrog there to block him. Uh, I can't go back, I don't think. Fuck. Mistakes were made. I'm going to win regardless. I mean, I can pull out one of my teeth if need be. There's a way out. For both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent, I will tear you to shreds. Uh-huh. He is not happy. I guess I just want to go around him because he's going to die regardless. Yeah, I guess I'll kill the bullfrog. Fuck it. Give me a bone. I'm about to win, I think, to stop this attack. Alright. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep from each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. The trapper? What's the trapper? It kind of looks like me, really. Many lives. When a card bearing this sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Well, I'm definitely taking myself. The invoilable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. Invoilable? Don't hear that word very often. Taken myself. So I can do the sacrifice thing or... I know what all the symbols do. So we know what this is. We'll, we'll go here because I want to know what the bonfire is. Oh, you came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire. That will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Ah, uh, that doesn't sound very good. Hmm. Um, me or the stout? Some of you have probably played, so I can't read chat. Because you'll spoil it for me, but... I'm going to go with me. fire warmed the poor Dark Viper AU, enhanced by its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the Dark Viper AU away from the fire and left. Oh, okay. Maybe there's a chance that they actually eat the creature? Uh... So... They have flight and the ability to block flying. Okay. Which I think they'd be able to do anyway. Put out my squirrel. Um, sacrifice it for a bullfrog. 
Um, which will block these attacks. And I end my turn. Um, he's going to kill me first, though. So... What's the coyote do? It's got a little symbol there. I don't know what that is. I'm going to... I have to pick up a card. Uh, guess I'll take a squirrel. Put that there. Um, I guess I may as well use this. Sacrifice them both. Put this here. So the bullfrog will die next turn. Oh, no, actually, I can summon the opossum now. Yeah, yeah. yeah I guess they're better. Okay. Cool. I, uh, coyote would have killed the opossum. Cockroach. Um, can't summon it right now. I could kill them by pulling out one of my teeth. So we're exactly equal according to the thing here. Um, so just, are you smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. Alright, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender. Or you may finish this match the slow way. So that's accepting surrender. But no, we'll finish it the slow way. Because I feel that might have some benefit. Sacrifice the possum. Total misplay. What? I guess maybe I should have blocked the carity rather than killing the sparrow. Uh, I guess I'll let my squirrel die. Okay, one regardless. Well, there seem to be no benefits from continuing. Well, let's go look at this um, thing here. So somewhere in the rule book here, there's a code somewhere. It's a bunch of stuff covered in blood. Holy shit, there's so many. Is this lapping around? Is there an end to the book? What? If there's a code in here, I'm not going to find it. Missed it? Here. 273. So that's one of the codes for the... Um... Thing here. Or maybe it's all of them. 273. Ooh. Stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape. That iron crypt is per. It's the stout around. The stunted wolf. This madness must end. Put that away. Got a key too. Is it to this? Is he just going to let me do all this? Um, this is some code, I guess. Oh, it's telling me that three of these are correct. Now four of them are correct. Four of five? There's only four lines. What? 
Okay. I forgot that I had put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck, and I'll deal you one every so often. The skink. Okay. None of these are cracks? Um... One square. I I don't. Is it moving across here, or am I meant to try and win each time? Are these boards that I'm trying to win on? Why can't I move this then? Now, this one can't be moved. These can't be moved across either. I mean, there's only so many combinations that can be done. So eventually I'll just get it. I'll, well, I, I don't understand. For middle creatures, those ants, very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. Okay. Alright, well, I'm solving these puddles is good, chat. I just need to deal five damage. Because that's doing two. That's doing one. That's doing one and that's not doing any. So. Oh, because it's blocked there. So. There we go. Okay. Caged wolf. Interesting. Uh, there's one more. These cards even good. So this is one damage. Then what these symbols mean? I guess the this is doing damage that way. This is doing damage that way. But what's this symbol? Hmm. So I can't move that up. Let me as well move that down. No, I can't. Okay. Um. So it's doing one less damage. It's doing three damage. This is doing no damage. Why is this three doing no damage? This this symbol must have some significance. I don't understand. But okay. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. Okay. I did it, chat. I'm a genius. Okay. So I... This is just cards, I guess. And this is blood cards. This is sacrifices, but... You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. Oh. Um, I guess I want to see what three blood creatures are like. Grizzly. The monstrous grizzly, its form speaks enough of its efficacy. A random card with a cost of three. What were you expecting? That's what I was expecting, actually. Very good. Um, so, I've, so that would only give me one item. Let's just go do one of these sacrifice dailies. The choice is yours. Obviously. Um, what's this thing do? When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. I see. Um, the creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. I just want to make me stronger. <laughs> when a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Oh, I see. Um, so let us... Let us sacrifice the Ant Queen. 
I'll go. No, no, no. We'll, we'll give me the power. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Now I summon ants. <laughs> you again. Indeed. Our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan. We have. Another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend. Rude. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Interesting. Okay. Um... So he's bringing up a wolf cub, so I need something with one HP. Uh, one power that survives. Okay, so we want you stout. Put this here. Fine. Okay. Hmm. What do you say? So... Uh, I guess a squirrel would help me get the ants out. What does it do again? Um, he's not going to die. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Oh. What are you doing with your hand over there, boy? Okay. Back in the game. So I need more ants. Um, well, yeah, because I need a, I need one more ant to make the this guy stronger. Leader creature is creatures adjacent to a card bearing the sigil gain one power. Oh, that's what that does. Okay, I see. Okay, Let's grab a random card, I suppose. Cockroach useless. So my ant is gonna die. Well, I lived. I believe what we want. So who cares? The apothecized goat, the truest offering, sacrificed, it grants three blood. <coughs> so I could use this to summon my grizzly bear. Or I can go back to having the infinite cat. The infinite cat isn't that great, I think, because it actually takes up a space on the board. Um, it's kind of useful, though. Um... Now we'll keep the cat, because the cat gives bones, too. At least I think it gives bones. Um, so this can increase power. This can transfer an ability. It's increased power. Thank you for your blessings, chat. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the campfire. The warmth will increase its power. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. All right. <laughs> No way. Uh, okay. If we can get the cat to have one power, that'd be really good. The power of the cat was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Okay. Haven't been eaten yet. And this is the final boss, I guess? What? A boss battle... My boss battles are high stakes. Tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either out overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. Smoke. What? The incessant, the incessant clank, clank, clankering reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Twas the prospector, hee haw. All right. So, oh, so strange. Why can't I? Remember his name. I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Oh, so he's one of the previous challengers who's 
Who died? I see. What's the smoke do? How do I look what the card does? There we go. Bone King. When a card bone the sigil dies, four bones are rewarded instead. Alright, well, may as well play it. Um, and I want it to die, so play it there. Squirrel. Um, squirrel can summon the ants. Actually, you no, know, I can sacrifice. What's the wolf pub do? The wolf pub does nothing, it's just six. Weird. Um. So I can just sacrifice this, right? Um, wait. It says dies. I don't know if sacrifice counts. Oh, it does. It does. Okay. Um, he will kill my ant if I put it here because he'll attack first. So I guess I want to put it here to do some damage to the pack mule. Um, put this out. Um, the coyote will still kill my stink bug. So I guess I end my turn. I see. Um, prospector boss again. That was indeed a thing. So I can sacrifice the squirrel to get the stout out so I can kill the coyote. Keep me alive, I would do my best. I could kill, okay, well, um, may as well get the stink bug out. Good play. Thank you, man. So the adder immediately gets rid of landmarks as well. That's pretty crazy. Um, get a card. Wolf. Um, I guess I don't need to get rid of the adder right now. I assume the pack mule, mule will move, so he... Oh, he moves one across every turn, so the coyote will come forward. Uh, I don't know if me attacking into the adder will actually kill the wolf. Oh, wait. They're taking one damage. If this is the end, I may as well... Use these things. Slow down. You will need first to draw a card, of course. Okay. Um, okay. Skink. This it sigil move, moves to the right when it attacks, but I don't have any space. Let's use this thing. It only gives me one more. Can I use two? I can. So I'm about to win. This does one damage. This does one damage. Uh, creature possessing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. Oh! So he would have two power, but because of Stinky, he has one less power. Oh, no, 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 They're opposing, so the, the pack mule has one less power, but it doesn't matter. I see, okay. Um. So I think I just want to kill him by doing as much damage right now as I can. So I want to get the wolf out. I'm pretty sure I win right now. Ha! Huh. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Oh, I, I actually did think it would be that easy. Oh, what? There's gold in them cards? Oh, shit. Oh, you just destroy- what? Gold? I've struck gold? His cards disappeared too, though? He sacrificed two of his cards to get rid of mine? What do they do? 
So I guess gold nugget is just, it, it blocks here and he has to attack through them. That's awful. Can I sacrifice them? I cannot. I can do nothing. Get him. I see he's now, pack mule's now moving back the other way, okay. Uh, did I even get anything for those gold nuggets? So now I, de I desperately need squirrels. Okay. Um, so, have nothing that does three damage. Just put a squirrel out, we'll get rid of... Oh, the bloodhound chases squirrels? Oh. When the opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, the card burn this sigil will move to that empty space. Oh, interesting. So I can bait him over. Hmm. Okay. He's putting another adder there, which will instantly kill my dude. Alright, let's just, uh... I want to see what Caged Wolf does. So we, uh... I need more bone creatures. Is he gonna free my wolf? I hope so. Right, let's just summon the skink. Actually, uh, yeah, so I'll put this here, so I won't move him. Okay, so skink will kill the adder. Okay, I need something that does one damage. Oh, possum, perfect. Actually, it's not perfect, because he'll attack first. At least I'll do some damage to the pack mule. Okay. What was that? Oh, so you summoned the wolf. Cool, so my wolf will kill his bloodhound. Okay. A grizzly. I need three blood for it, though. Um, how far am I of winning? Oh, he's winning. Fuck. Uh, I guess I'll leave it as is, then. Like, I could sacrifice... Uh, he counts as two blood, right? And he counts... Wait, do the bones count as blood? Or does this need three sacrifices, or does the wolf count for two sacrifices? So it's just three individual creatures. Each creature gives one blood. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, okay. Go back to equal. Need to kill this wolf cub. Um... To guarantee to kill the wolf cub, I have to summon the grizzly by killing these. I don't think it's worth it. Got the cat. The cat will kill it. Perfect. Ah, uh -huh. so it didn't make a tail. Which is weird. Go, Cass. Oh, killing... Dagnam, it's my mule. Oh, killing the mule gives me cards? Why would he have it then? Um. So I want one more scroll. This gold nugget is screwing me. I don't know how to get rid of it. So if I put down a scroll. Um. I'd have to sacrifice the wolf to get, get the grizzly. Because I can't play another card. It's fine. It's fine. Um, then we can summon beaver. Blocked on both sides. No dams for your beaver. Oh. When a card bearing this sigil is played, a dam is created on each empty adjacent space. A dam is defined as zero power to health. Well, that's not very good. Should have summoned the alpha then. Or the raven egg. Card burn the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Yeah, that was a mistake. Okay, it's fine. Did I win? I won! Yeah, get get wrecked. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Ooh. 
The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked rat. So I guess it gives me items. The uninspiring gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Maybe it's in some combo. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Well, I mean, it'd be hard to summon a four creature. The gek is free to summon, that's true. You know, I'm tempted just to take the gek. Like... But I wonder what the pack rat does. Oh, I actually need to... Uh, I, ca I, can't, I can't check their abilities until I pick. With sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Oh, there's another level? You can? Well, it wouldn't let me. I tried right-clicking. Hmm. I need to right-click in the right place, I think. Okay, new map. The rank smell of rotten mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. The fervid mantis, its praying claws strike both to the left and right. So I can attack two people. Not in front of me though, just left and right, okay. Bullfrog? What's this symbol here? What is this? The tragic rat king, when their tangled bodies become corpses, you will gain four bodies. So just more bones, I see. There must be something significant about taking this. Like, do I get poisoned or something? Um, let's try it. No, nothing? The mush means duplicate? Oh, I see. Oh, so I can see my deck. This is currently my deck. Okay, okay. And so I have two bullfrogs. Okay. Uh, so I can power or get some items. I get some items because I have none right now. Um, ghosts. Some bone tokens for a rainy nice. I'd uh, rather kill one of his cards. Um, yeah, squirrel. I like having squirrels. Okay. Uh, what's this thing? I can't remember what that is. This is a fight, I guess. He has two bees. The fly. Of course. Um, so we want the cat out. The bees can do damage. I don't want them attacking my cat. So summon this. Summon the cat. Uh, worker ants have 2 HP, which is good, as do the bullfrogs, and bullfrogs can attack bees. So sacrifice the cat, bring out a bullfrog. And, uh, may as well sacrifice the cat again to bring out the ants. I love this cat. So may as well get a card. It's me! And when a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. So I can summon an ant. So I want to sacrifice this, this, bring out this, get an ant, sacrifice the cat, bring out another ant to make this two. So I fly, so I fly, um, and I have many lives. When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. So I can, I can sacrifice the cat and me over and over again. Okay. I also won. Easy. What's this? You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beak a strange beast lurked within. It spoke, pass one of my trials, and I will be yours, in a raspy voice. Hmm. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. The trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. The trial of wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. The trial of health. The three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. Um. Um. 
Blood seems the most likely. I don't know how I'm feeling blood. The overwhelming majority of my cards. I should know because bones. Bones don't have blood. Um, wisdom is three sigils. So... Means each of the cards drawn must have a sigil. Which is more than half my deck, but that's not... And health? I think health might be the best bet. Because, I mean, drawing the Grizzly wins it by itself. Uh, I don't have any fours, though. That's the problem. So the, Grizz so the Grizzly or Dark Viper AU wins it. But, like, if I draw a one, then I basically can't win it. Because I can guess that. Yeah, I'll go with health. And the Trial of Health begins. Yeah, I win. Ha <laughs> ha, bitch. <laughs> Six from Dark Viper AU, two from the work, and three from the South. You have passed the trial. The beast revealed itself. It was... Raven, Possum, Grizzly. Okay, so the person I'm fighting loses one HP. Card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sig sigil. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Uh, none of these are particularly amazing. I mean, the grizzly is just another strong uh, creature to have. I'm going to take the grizzly. I've got the black goat over there to summon. The inhabited grizzly joined your menagerie. I've already got heaps of items. Uh, maybe I should have gone the other way. Because... More items is not what I need. Hmm. You can't take more than three items, and you have three. Perhaps... Oh, instead, perhaps you'd accept this gift from my friend? Oh. Oh. Thank you. The prudent pack rat never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Alright. Maybe that's a consistent thing. Whenever my pack's full, I'll get a pack rat. Hmm. Okay, so bring out a squirrel. Uh, this start is bad. I want to summon the pack rat to know what it does. Should check what he was doing first. Kingfisher. Waterborne. A card bearing this sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. When submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Oh, so it can't defend. Oh. Um, we'll try and kill the bullfrog. So I just get one random item. I have a boulder. Um, I guess I will use it. I summon the possum here too. Okay. Like, once I have the item from the pack rat, the pack rat isn't particularly useful. So they're submerged, so I attack over them, but that doesn't really matter. Summon a card. Oh, look. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Creepy. So... Like, how do I kill these guys, then? Um, I guess having the wolf... No, fuck it, we'll just, uh... You sure? I am sure. Okay. Hmm. Also, so he submerges too? If I just want to maximize damage... Now get another card. Greetings! Okay, this is actually good because... I don't have two bones. Shit. 
Um, because this would decrease the attack of this guy, so it would do no damage. Um, the otter is going to kill my pack rat. Oh, come on. Okay. And uh, summon stink bug over here to reduce the damage by one. Okay. I mean, his power gets reduced by one. And so now it would do no damage. Oh, the auto is still going to kill my wolf, though. But I think he should die before then. Um, you can't draw blood from a boulder. True. But he's dead. Coolio. Yeah. I did see what the pack rat did. It gave me an item. Uh, okay. More cards? Bullfrog... Kaminski? Guardian, when an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing this sigil will move to the empty space. Oh, so when he plays... Oh, it's the same thing as the, the dog that we saw before. Sharp quills. Once a card bearing this sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. I see, so it's damage return. Okay. This is not very good. Rat King. Uh, a lot of bones. It's fine, I guess. Do I have to take a card? So I can get one item here or do a sacrifice. Let's do a sacrifice. It, it, I think it might be another player, that card. So... Putting this on the cat will be insane, if that's possible. Or if I put unkillable on the cat. Unkillable on the cat would mean I can have un infant cats, right? I think that's true. The cat won't die. It doesn't perish, that's true. Yeah, they, they, they thought of that. Um... Yeah, so I guess, uh... Yeah, so th this this doesn't die. Well, it, it does die, it just doesn't perish, right? Yeah, so I, I just wouldn't get another cat. It would just go back to my hand. Hmm... When a card bearing the sigil is played, you will receive a random item so long as you have less than three items. Does it count as me playing the cat, though, with Pack Rat? It might. Yeah, I think we should see. So we'll put Pack Rat on cat. <laughs> and hope I get an item every single time. Okay. He's been awfully silenced, this dude. Okay, squirrel. Can you think about this first? So we got possum, bullfrog, wolf. So summon the bullfrog to stop the kingfisher. Right? Because I will attack, right? It does block, but I don't do damage back. I just stop the damage. So I, I just stop two damage that he does. That's not very good. Um, uh, might be my only play, though. And then he goes down each time. Fuck you, spider, go away. Okay. Um, he's bringing down a sparrow. He's got a coyote here, so I need to... Um, I need something to die. Yeah, so I'll get a squirrel here. Then I will sacrifice them both to get myself a wolf here. And I'll ignore their damage. But I'll put, and then I'll put the possum here to kill the coyote. So they're both doing one damage either side, but my wolf is doing way more damage. 
Um, he is in the lead right now, though. Oh. <laughs> He's in the lead a bit. Okay. Uh, so, may as well draw a card. It's me. But summoning me would be a pain in the ass. Um, but I do have infinite summons for myself. Um, I th oh, no, I, I could use Black Goat, but no, I'd, I'd rather save it for later. I can cut up one of his cards. Otter is going to kill my possum. Which will make it even harder to summon me. I think I just need to summon myself now. And block the Otter. Because the Sparrow is blocked there, so it's not too bad. I get the ant too. Um, and I can then summon the ant. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. So he's doing two, but I'm counting it. Yeah. So his whole entire board goes down. It would take a long time for the order to get through me. King rat, so I can kill them both to summon the rat to get more bones. Ultimately, I just want to do more damage, though. Yeah, so we'll sacrifice both. Yeah. I'm just trying to outdo his damage. That river also will kill my king rat. Cockroach. When a card burning the sigil perishes, a copy of it is placed in your hand. So this is good. This means I can... No, it's not that good. Um, will this block this attack? I think it will. Uh, maybe not. Because it, it's a flying, right? I, I win regardless. It's all, it's all good. Okay. All good. More cards. So am I? So I'm required to take a card here, right? An elusive otter. It submerges itself during my turn. Another cat. Another bullfrog. Do I need another cat though? I don't think I do. But I'm forced to take a card, right? You never found a way not to take a card. It's interesting because in most games, like choosing to have a smaller deck is like a tactical strategy. Mm, yeah, I might. Yeah, I guess take a cat. Um, I can get one more item, but I've got pack rats for that. Um, this can boost the power of something, which could be useful. But getting rid of a card with the sacrifice and moving, like moving pack rat to cat again. Could be useful. Um, yeah. Can can you can you give multiple sigils or multiple sacrifices to the same guy? Yeah, and burn sigil on cockroach will be interesting. You can't. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No. Why is people saying yes and no? I mean, it was, it was show me here, I suppose. Now you, I guess you can't even sacrifice people who have one on them. So yeah, like cockroach, when a card bearing this sigil perishes, a copy of it is placed in your hand. That, with the rat king ability, of getting a bunch of bones would be very useful. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Try that. We'll put this on the cockroach. Yeah, so it seems I can't buff them twice. Doing this every time seems wise, though, to make a smaller deck. I mean, although... Then. So I got smoke again, reversing a boss. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. Uh-huh. 
So, what's he, what's he summoning? A Kingfisher. The Kingfisher would kill my cat. I do not want that to happen. So we'll... So it gets me an item here. I can, ki I can kill... Um... Smoke brings me bones, so I guess I want it to die. Ah, oh, but I could sacrifice it and just bring out the pack fat. No, we should use black. Use the black goat. Summon the black goat. Then sacrifice the black goat to bring out Grizzly and stop his damage as well. Then smoke. Sacrifice cat and smoke to bring out the pack rat, giving me another item. Yeah. I beat him in one turn. Well, at least I got rid of one of his lives in one turn. Go fish. The fuck are these? Bait? So I have to hit through them first? Okay. And I've got me. I need two lives for that. The pack rat is less valuable than me now. So I can get rid of this. Oh, will this give me another item? Let's see if killing the cat gives me another item. It does not. Oh no, wait. I'm full of items, so maybe... It didn't before, right? Okay. Oh. Sharks? Oh. Well, I've, I, I fly over this bait bucket, so that's not a huge issue for me. Um... He should just die. I should just win this turn. Uh, I can also just cut up the cards if I want to, but there's no reason to because he should just die. Hell yeah. <laughs> Overkilled something fierce. Sick. Let me relight your candles. Thank you. I wrecked him there, dude. Very well. You may choose a rare card. I have no words for this freak of nature. Long Elk. So he moves across one? What's the, what's the other thing? Touch of Death. When a card bearing this sigil da damages another creature, that creature perishes. Okay. Gek. Poor abandoned child, it does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? I mean, this is the same thing as the cat, right? Is this different from the cat in any meaningful way? Is better than the cat? How so? Does it have some combo? It's a spoiler? Okay, don't spoil it then. But, uh, yeah, I'll take the cat. I'm trying not... Uh, I, I try to avoid reading chat, but um, don't spoil things for me. So, like, if I am reading chat, just try not to be too obvious with what you're telling me. You considered one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to... Dinner would have to wait. Mm-hmm. Let me see. A frigid gust of wind bellowed. A frigid gust of wind billowed, unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You have ascended to the snow line. Uh huh. The trial of bones. The three drawn cards must cost at least five bones combined to pass. Okay. The Trial of Blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. Trial of Health. The three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. Ah. Uh, all these look easy. But the blood looks the easiest. Like, how could I possibly fail the blood? Unless I just draw nothing but bones. Yeah, bones looks the hardest. Uh, the health... It's either health or blood. 
It's hard to imagine failing blood. Yeah, there we go. Easy. From the grizzly... Three from the grizzly, two from the pack rat, zero from the cockroach. You have passed. Hooray. Coyote? I mean, I suppose in some cases you'd intentionally want to fail. To not get a card, but I mean, it seems unlikely because the, the cards have like multiple things. So this is a airborne coyote that's not particularly useful. A waterborne, a card bearing the sigil submerges itself. So the elk would like... It would attack, move one over, then submerge. Interesting. Many lives when a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. I mean... When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. I mean, Skink seems crazy. I can sacrifice it, and in a case where it's actually going to get attacked, it'll move and I can continue to sacrifice it. But I have a lot of these infinite sacrificing cards now. Um, I've got items already, right? Yeah. I'm, I've got pack rat as well, so we'll just go sacrifice again. So I guess I'll give this child pack rat. <laughs> Your choice. Or I can do the same thing where I can give this skink as well so when it gets attacked it moves across. But no, I think I'd just rather give a pack rat. Pack, so, so I can get the item but it's less expensive. Oh shit, I fucked up. I meant to do it the other way. Whoops. Uh, and you guys said that child was actually significant for something. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, that's unfortunate. Well, I will live with my mistakes. What the fuck is this? Moose buck? Hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in, in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Oh, so he could, like, push people off the board. Borough with an empty space. When an empty space would be struck, a card burn the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Oh, so he, like, defends. I see. I see. So bring out the cat and get myself an item. Oh, shit! Oh, and I can only cut things that are on my side. Oh, that, that, uh, these move forward. Okay. He's gonna kill my cat now. I made a terrible mistake. I might lose now. Oh, no. I thought I could cut it! Oh, no! Okay, I got another cat. I got no way to put it there, though. Oh, actually, I do. Okay. So. Sacrifice and bring forth a cat. This is going really badly. Uh oh. Uh, so I can bring forth the wolf, but it won't matter. I need to. I need to cut his card. I need to cut his card. So bring forth this, and I'll cut his card. Okay. Should have done that before. I'm about to die. Gonna get a squirrel. Um, I need to cut that card too. So I can put this anywhere. Okay, we'll just. Uh, oh no 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 no! Did not mean to do that. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. Everything is terrible. Um. I, I'm just going to do some more damage. Okay. This is fine. I'm, I'm not going to die. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I need, I need a card. Grizzly. So, I could kill all these guys. 
Yeah, I'm gonna kill them all. So I can kill the elk. Okay. Easy. Pack rat. So he... So I now have an infinitely summoning pack rat. Ah, oh, god, that's terrible. No, don't sacrifice. Just go. Just go. It's fine. Bring forth another mole. It doesn't matter. I can bring out the pack rat by using a scroll. Gets me an item, which is good. Okay. Everything is fine, chat. Except I killed that child. Salutations. At least he's happy to see me despite my child killing. I won. Cool. What is this again? Same thing as before. Okay. So, six health combines, four power combines, or three sigils. Well, I mean, like, everything I have has a sigil. Wait, th this is two sigils, right? Yeah, so, like, but four power? Like, power has to be the easiest. Uh, actually, I do have quite a few that don't have any power on them. I th no, it's three? Oh, this is three. True, yeah. One, two, three. I just meant that these second ones count as a sigil. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I think sigil is still the easiest. So one, two. Oh, you're kidding me! With these cards, I would have failed them all, though. Those cards wouldn't have passed anything. The warm light of the campfire. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight. Through the ten, though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire, enhancing its power. Said one. Are they going to eat me? Yes. So. I really want to upgrade my cats. Or me. Like, like, the difference between zero damage and one is really big. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty, hasty retreat with your cat. Oh, still hasn't eaten me. Okay. 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 Um, Squirrel. So I can summon a cat. Raven Egg won't kill it immediately. Um, but I can attack the Raven Egg. Uh, okay. Um, and I can sacrifice him. Get the Worker Ants. Okay. So... I need a different card. Cat again. So we can summon... We can sacrifice one cat to bring out another cat, which gets me an item, which is a boulder. Uh, the cat will kill the fawn. See, the difference between one, dam one damage and zero is so significant. Uh, the raven eggs are gonna wake up, though. And there is nothing I can do about it. Uh, he's gonna kill my cat. No! Oh, no, because they, they flew over me. Okay, that's fine. Um... The problem is I'm kind of stuck now. Uh, okay. I'm about to die? Question mark? How do I... How do I know how far I am? I might use this. How do I... It's in the dots, so like one, two. One, two, three, four, five. Do I own? So it's two off. One, two. Okay. So if it reaches the end, I lose. Can someone uh, um, time out spoken life, please? And yeah, I'm using the pliers. I think I have to, to live. I'm not even sure that will save me. Yeah, we want to. 
block his attack, hopefully. Um... And, uh... Yeah. Hopefully the raven will get down the snowy fur. Oh god, I'm so close to death. Um... I have a boulder. I'm not sure if it will block the raven, though. He will kill him. Yeah, that, that blocks that, so that's fine. But I might end up using the boulder. Skink. Um... Uh, he will kill the raven. So that's fine. All these are infinite now. Uh, I'm kind of screwed for space. And I have a tail now that's also infinite. It's hard to call it cowardly. Oh shit, I died. How did I take one damage there? How disappointing. I got one more life. Is it, The porcupine does one damage to enemies? Uh, yeah, I know, Bell, Dean. The sparrow did, did extra damage? Yeah, okay. What's this? You were, you were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts? There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Oh. Care to look at my pelts? Oh, take a pelt free of charge? Oh, this one I'm getting for free? See the quality? Oh, I can, can I pick any of these? No? I want to leave? Uh... These pelts seem bad. Not good. Like they'll block my stuff. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'll just buy the most expensive one then. Thank you for your business. Alright, well, fair enough. So, all the extra damage I did in each of the fights gave me money for this shop. Okay. The man assured you of the value of his pelts. They appeared to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Oh. What trader? This trader? Maybe the boss counts as a trader? So this is just straight up card removal. I don't know what this is. I want to find out what these two are. And this looks like card removal, so we'll see. You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Okay. What if I sacrifice the golden pelt? No, don't. Okay. Um, who is someone that I don't value here? The bullfrog, I guess? Or the rabbit pelts? The opossum is probably my least valuable one right now. Somebody can be summoned by bones. Yeah, bullfrog is the least valuable. I've got two of them. Die. You callously slaughtered the bullfrog. However, the Bone Lord was pleased for your sacrifice. Oh. A minor boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Oh, sweet. Cool. You shook off the viscera of the poor bullfrog and carried onwards. Maybe the bonus I get there depends upon the rarity of the card I sacrifice. Hmm. Extra bone. Oh, so this is a fight, but a special fight. I see. So they're particularly hard. So what does he have? When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Okay. 
Um, he's got fawns that become stronger after a turn. So I need as many things on the board that can do one damage. And, but that will survive the first attack. So I need this to go here and then get the stouts to go here. Because I want to kill this one before it moves across. If that's possible. Maybe that's not possible. If... Yeah, I should put the cat there and the stout there, I think. No, it doesn't matter because the cat will kill the form when he moves across anyway. Okay, it's fine. Um, but the fawns will move backwards. I don't, won't use the boulder. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, so he'll move across and they can't move across because he's in the way. Okay, good. And the cat will kill him. Yeah, okay. Um, yes. Uh, rabbits? If I get the squirrel, I guarantee get out the wolf. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. This helps protect my cat from the fawn moving across. And stops them from upgrading. Oh. Oh, because I killed him and then he moved across. Right, because he... Okay, I see. Confusing. And that's still not going to kill that. Because the furry tail... I, I, I wasn't factoring in the loose tail thing. Okay, so I may as well get a card here. Another Cass. Which is an easy summon. Get an item as well. Gets me a scroll. Um, do I want to use an item here? I don't think the two damage is that big of a concern. No, okay. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Oh, really? Lucky for you. I'm about to die. So, this damage would continue past here, right? Is he saying it would hit the back row? Is that what he's saying? Yes, okay. So I am one from death. So I might end up having to use my boulder here. Opossum. Damage doesn't go through though, right? As in, he's doing two damage. My opossum would be hit and block one. I wouldn't take one damage, right? Correct. Okay. So it's only the back cards. I see. Okay. So use boulder here. Get out, opossum. Shame the raven egg isn't dying. Because the raven can go through. Ugh. Um... Elk is fine. I can't kill the raven, but I'm getting HP back because of the wolf that is attacking. Um, will I just kill him? No, nowhere close. Okay. Uh, another wolf. Yeah, I may as well get out these. It's funny how they kind of shake because they know they're about to be sacrificed. Yeah, so way back in my favor. I don't think he's going to get another turn. Um, even though this is coming, uh, a card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across from it. Doesn't matter. Okay. So he should just die, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Get Rex. Doesn't seem like versing those challenges gets you anything special, though. What's this? Thanks for the raid, Bell. Hope you, uh, hope you uh, had a good stream, dude. Hope your runs went well. Uh, I know I know you can get up and walk around. I just haven't seen the reason for it yet. Trial of power? 
So four attack, four wisdom, or four blood. Like, given that I have the pelts now, this becomes a lot harder. Because the pelts are just dead cards. And I have so many things that don't cost blood now. Uh, Sigil still seems like the best bet. Or attack. Uh, no, nah, attack is definitely the best bet. One, four, yeah, easy. <laughs> nice to get the golden pelt. Success. Raven egg, whenever a card brain the sigil is played and the is created in your hands. Card brain the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Like, when it says more powerful form, is it just one additional attack and two additional health? And this grows into a more powerful form as well. Um, but that's its only ability. So it's lost its other ability. While these have two abilities. Plus one, plus two. Hmm. So like Raven Egg is probably the best because I get a an ant with it. So I got space for two items. Um, don't really need more bones. Being able to balance if I'm about to die is better. That pitiful possum, frozen possum. I mean, this is a good block, I suppose. And I assume when it gets broken out, it's um, an actual possum. Verse in the boss. A man stood before you, a man you recognized immediately. It was the trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. What? But I gave you so much money! You jerk? Um, these pelts must have some value in this fight. A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature. Wait. Steel trap. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. A pelt is created in your hand. Uh-huh. I can't just sacrifice a pelt? I, I don't know. I guess a pelt is just good for blocking damage. Um, this is the boss, so may as well use some items. Let's bring out the scroll. Sacrifice it for the bullfrog, do some damage. Put out this pelt for the hell of it. Um, bring out this frozen dude. Break him out, I suppose. I could have sacrificed him actually to get the pack right out. Nah, fuck it. I want to see what he does. Maybe I should have just gone for the um scroll there before. Ah well. Hmm. So put. Can I not sacrifice the possum? No. You can't draw blood from a frozen possum. Let's, okay, let's just put out the fucking squirrel. Kill the squirrel for the cat. Then we'll get the pack right here. So the cat is going to kill this, but it shouldn't die and I'll get a pulse. Oh. Oh. Right. Because it counts as a taking damage, which kills it, even though it doesn't die from sacrifices normally. Right, that was dumb. That was dumb. That's me, which is good. If only I still have my fucking cat! And now my pack rider's dead too? Oh, which was- oh god, that's awful. Um... I need two creatures to summon myself. Or save my squirrel for next turn. Get a get a wolf pelt out here. I mean, I'm, I can block their damage with the pelts. 
Uh oh. Um. Oh, but now I can't play the other squirrel. Shit. I should not have taken up that spot. Fuck. Oh no. Um. So I guess I still need a squirrel just to stop this attack. And wait for this possum to spawn. And now I have more space. And enough sacrifices. Because I have enough sacrifices, I'll draw another card. Raven Egg. Uh, this gives me an ant in my hand, but it doesn't help me, I don't think. I mean, he can be sacrificed infinitely, so we're, we're fine. I want this here to destroy the wolf. And then I can sacrifice him to bring out this, and he will survive. Um, if only I had my second amp, this fucking wolf pelt screwing me. Oh, that's right, I fly over the wolf. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, right, that's a problem. Okay, just another card, Cass. But I want to summon, no, I summon the second ant, doesn't matter right now. The cap for the item is more important. I, I guess cutting up the wolf is a good move. See what I get from this first, though. Cut the wolf. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, they're leaving traps when they die. I see. Okay. But he flies over the trap. Oh, no, because uh, the trap is still able to get flying creatures. That's crazy. Got a bunch of worker ants, but nowhere to put them. So the ant is going to die. I think with the thing here, I just win. I need one, two, three. But I'm doing three damage, so maybe I should win by now. An ant gives me a wolf pelt. Okay, so we killed him once. Okay. What? Too fast, too soon. The fuck? Ah, uh, hello? I kind of wish I had my card cutting thing again. How the fuck am I meant to win this? I scared the fuck out of me, dude. I can even attack airborne things? A lucky draw? Get fucking real. So I best just put down the pelts to help myself out a bit. I mean, I should put down the ants. Because these guys are going to die, then I'll have no summons. That was dumb. Um, I'm gonna, this is fucking dumb. The fuck? So I'm just gonna lose. Um, I mean, way to cheat game. I got so many bones, but nothing to do with it. Were you an unfold? Were you as unfaltering as the cockroach? Well, fuck you, game. You were making exquisite pelt. What the fuck? He cheated! So I can't look at chat because I'm sure people will spoil what's going on. Maybe I could have given him the golden pelt had I like held it in my hands? Stay there, no need to move. I'm afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. Hmm, where did I put that camera of mine?
pathetic do you really think I would leave film in there? Oh, do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. We have a memento to create. Behold your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Um... Well, we'll go with cost one. Another time, and another, this time I'll use its power and health. Well, uh, the grizzly is clearly the best. A one cost four, six? It's crazy. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Well, if I get both of these, it's fucking nuts. Single si sigil of trinket bearer and the signal si sigil of many lives. This card's insane. I never did ask you your name. Um, chat. <laughs> this is your card, chat. Okay, chat who it is. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Say cheese. I. If you go back, I started saying that before he said it. <laughs> Jesus. So does that count as a failing? I have to start again? I think that was the thing. I should have kept the golden pelt or something. Not much for trading that last one. Are you prepared to make the right deals? A hook? A gift from the angler? You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It'd be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. This hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. I see. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. Okay. Seems the low stink bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. What? Okay, so let's look around. So there's no other code here. There's just blackness here. This has to show something at some point. The clock. I mean, I can move the hands. This is clearly significant somehow. What if I just make them all top? No. There's clearly some code here. Coyote and squirrel. I don't know the significance of this. As of yes. Still already got that. Um, this is are these previous games I've played. I don't think so. Still locks. What? Glowed, but nothing significant. Still can't get this. Hmm. Oh, these new puzzles. Oh, new puzzles for new. Oh, no. The, the, I've already got all the cards. So I can't get more cards from there, okay. Do I get to keep that? Well, I'm, I picked up this now. Oh, I can get little bits of gold. That'll help me in my game, I suppose. Um, stop staring at me, dude. You creep me out. This has to be... Aha! Aha! You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that scroll. Though you may wish that you hadn't. Oh, so this is like an item that I can use in the game? Maybe. Okay, well. Can I pry this out now? Uh, that'll do. 
no, you may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. I don't know what the fuck that is. We're going with the Woofles. The Dauntless Bloodhound. It leaps to oppose new creatures when they are played. Yes, we've seen this before. A randomly chosen canine card. Did you wish for something else? Kind of. Not sure what I expected, but still. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at, gestured at them. Bris Is that briskly? I guess it is. I've never seen it written. Choose. Poison, air, or submerge. I, I like air. The old woman barred her teeth. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. Oh. Actually, maybe it would have liked poison. So this means all my guys fly now. The airborne sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. Oh. That's good and bad. Is it always my squirrel creatures? I mean, if it's just on my squirrels, I don't know how that was ever going to be significant. What's coming here? A wolf pup? Well, I can't kill that wolf pup because it submerges. Um, uh, given that the case, I shouldn't have put my stout there. That was dumb. Because he's going to come and I'm not going to be able to kill him and he's going to transform and do 3 damage. Fudge. Um. I mean, the Bloodhound would jump up to defend him anyway. Bullfrog. It's not good. Yeah. Okay, so I can summon the stink bug as a sacrifice. Uh, I desperately need a squirrel. So I, I just can't kill. I just can't kill the wolf. I just need to do damage to counter it. He's close to death. One more damage from the bullfrog won't help. Um, yeah, I need a squirrel. Because even if I got a better card, it wouldn't matter. I'm one off. Right, I don't have all the cards that I used to have. So get a squirrel next time and I should win. So I play a squirrel. Then kill both these. Bring out the wolf. And then I win. Cool. Getting some excess teeth for buying stuff later. So I just get a random wolf card? Oh. The fuck is this? Gecko? Lizards? I mean, getting a geck wouldn't be too bad. The fuck is this? I want to see what this is. Oh, beehive? The beehive seemed alright. What is this? The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Oh, another one of these? Oh, it's giving me pieces. And then I can make another thing. Oh. Well, yeah, I want more bones for my squirrels. Rice. 
And so if I find another head, then I can combine them. Okay. Oh, wait! It's the head that determines what the body affects. Oh. And so now sacrificing my squirrels will get me bones. This is good. This is a normal fight and this is a special fight? Is, is that what this is? I don't know why I would want the special fight though. Like, why would I want the special fight over the normal fight? <laughs> Is there any advantage? You don't? You wouldn't? So there's no advantage, just challenge. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. So, spell, sparrows that move. And they fly and do one damage over the top. They're only doing one damage. So I want to put a stink bug next to them. And Bullfrog does block them, but he will die first. Um, so I'll have, uh, yeah, so I will put a squirrel, sacrifice it, and put a stouse, and then put a stink bug here. Okay. So he'll only ever do one damage, and that fire will be blocks. Oh, no, because he the, the moves across, I see. That's unfortunate. Well, still. The Stink Bug will be good against these Sparrows. The Sparrow blocking the Alpha there, which is good. Um, I may as well get the Bullfrog out there, then. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wolf. Um, he's going to be able to block this and kill him. He will kill him. Yeah, may as well just continue. Uh, Alfred, well, he attacked forward. Oh, the uh, creatures ad adjacent get one power. That's right. So, I may as well... Get a scroll. Sacrifice the scroll and the stout and move the wolf over to a free square so I do damage. Alright. Snap his neck. And this is the trapper again. I have the most exquisite pelts. You made one for me, you asshole. The first is free. I don't have enough money to buy the golden pelt this time. Much appreciated. Hmm. So you can do one of these sacrifices. I don't have any of the infinites right now. So this is what the one that I'm sacrificing to give to someone else. Once a card bearing this sigil is struck, a B is created in your hand. A B is defined as one power, one health. Airborne. So putting this on something that has more HP would be good. Yeah. And it would free... Okay, so we'll sacrifice the B. And we'll put it on... I guess this dude, because I get him out sooner. Yeah. And it will give me more tokens to sacrifice. Yeah, alright. Cool. This is a normal fight. It sucks there aren't rewards after fights, though. Great draw. Thanks, man. Doing my best out here. Um, so, sacrifice him. What? No! I don't really understand what buttons I was pressing that- okay, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. So, put another one of these out here. Sacrifice them both. Uh, so we can kill the skunk. Uh, no we can't. We- Well, I guess we'll kill the skunk eventually. Um... Reduce his power by one. Uh, 
Okay, I have no idea what I was doing there, but okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I've got nothing to sacrifice. Let's just get the bullfrog out there. To get rid of these. Uh, actually, putting him in front of the skunk would be terrible because he'd have no damage. So we'll kill... Oh, the coyote's going to kill me. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Why not just look, Matt? You have the luxury of looking. Why not just look? Oh, no. So... Yeah, just leave that. So, I guess I can get rid of the stink bug. You have me here, I surrender. Oh, there's a thing there. What is this? Wait, he was holding something. Does that mean if I, if I had beaten him, I would have... Oh, it was just an olive branch? So there's, there's no advantage in finishing the fight? Oh, but I could have farmed some more gold. I could have farmed some gold by doing overkill. Yeah. Oh, you can't get overkill? Oh, no, you can farm for overkill. Okay. I'll consider that for next time. You came across a... Hobbled man standing beside some boulders. You caught me off guard. Not supposed to see me till further down the road. Say I like me a gamble. If and ye can pick a boulder from that... If you... If and ye can pick a boulder that has gold in it, you can keep it. Oh. Um... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Fine. Oh, Nice. I can barely abide giving it to ye, but a promise is a promise where I'm from. I mean, it didn't really help me last time. Um, I have three items. Do I not? The hook and the dagger count as items, right? So I may as well just go sacrifice. Um... So, combining this into Bloodhound would be good, but I like me how to summon him with bones, given the effect I have on my squirrels. So I guess I would just sacrifice Bullfrog and give it to the Bloodhounds. So it can attack the air. Okay. Okay, the smoke. A chill mist closed in around you. You were not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Stand in the way of me gold, be dance. Squirrel, okay. A great draw. So, pack mule still gives me a bunch of cards, which is great to kill. Smoke just gives me a bunch of bones. But the main thing is I can sacrifice it immediately. So I want to kill the coyote. The bloodhound will survive. Um, so I can get the stink bug out too. I guess I'll put him anyway. It doesn't really matter. And I put the pelt out here just for the hell of it. I, mean, I, suppose I should, should have held back the pelt. Okay, so he's going to kill the coyote. And the damage will go through to kill the adder as well. Yeah, and this is only when the adder damages a thing that it kills. Okay. I have the wolf. Um, there's no point summoning it right now, I guess. So the coyote is going to come and kill my bloodhounds. If the, when the pack mule moves. I shouldn't have put this pellet out here. I'm dumb. Because I could have now put out the squirrel, but I can't. So let's draw a card. Easy, boss. Just pop that mule. Exactly. Exactly. Um, once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. 
So this is a better thing to have out than the stink bug. Okay. I killed him once. There's gold in them cards. Oh, he kills all my cards each time? Gold, I've struck gold. So, I would want to definitely not play all my cards. And this is some advantage to getting this gold that I'm not seeing. Gold and pelts? But what's the significance? Get him. Do I get to keep that gold for later or something? I don't know. Um... Well, I got no more cards now. How am I gonna win? Uh... I've got... What, is, what does this thing do? Special dagger to the user. You'll place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Oh, it cut out my eye? Well, I almost won off that alone. Um, there's nothing that can be hooks. So, I need to kill the pack mule to win, basically. Um, so this is going to move across. I definitely shouldn't have wasted that stab, but I just didn't know. So this pack me will move across and I can kill it with a wolf now. And we'll throw a squirrel to this so he doesn't move. Okay. I completely forgot about that. Dag nabbit. Okay. Corpses are in no short supply. Corpse eater. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing the sigil in your hand is automatically played in its, in its place. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, so I just don't have space right now. I could sacrifice it and bring out like a river otter, but that doesn't seem like a good... I think he just dies, right? Good. Yeah, of, because of my sacrifice of my eye. Well, maybe it was a good move then. Needle ice. I didn't play that so well. Your reward? An amorphous amoeba. Its sigils are ever-changing. Oh. I don't like that. That's random. The filthy feral hog. It becomes incensed when it chime... It becomes incensed when its chimes are struck. And the rack pat. Um, I mean pack rat. Bellist. When a card bearing this sigil is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is defined as zero power, one health. So, I guess it becomes stronger when its two bells are destroyed. But the main problem is that you need three spaces to ultimately be able to do that, which is not super likely. I'm going to go with the pack rat. Consistent items are good. It's good. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. It isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. What? Well, this is the only one that's glowing. Find salvation. Cuckoo clock. Well, I know I have to do the clock, but what time? Find salvation in cuckoo clock. Are these symbols significant? Oh, maybe, regardless, the choice is final. So, maybe now with this eye, the clock will show me something? After the harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gather yourself and continue onwards. Let me think. 
The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the winter... Uh, you beheld the wetlands. Okay. Let's go have a look at this clock. Oh, I feel like I'm cheating now. Um... Stunted Wolf, take the film roll before he sees it. Now, what are you doing over there? Uh, nothing. Do I close it? No, he, how, how, will he know, how will he not know? Um, smudge here. Stop staring at me. Nothing else seems to really show up. Okay. We found another foot in chat. So I do get to pick a card this time. And... Uh... I guess I want the beehive. So this is a sacrifice, and I get some benefit from it, or I get items. I guess I want the sacrifice. Makes my deck smaller, though, and I don't really have a large deck. So you guys said last time not to sacrifice the Golden Fleece. There must be something to do with it. If you must. Oh man, like... I want to sacrifice the cool cards. I'm just gonna get rid of the rabbit pelt and see what it does. The sh you sheepishly offered the pelts to the Bone Lord. The Bone Lord was displeased. You would receive nothing in return. Yeah, I guess because there was no blood. That makes sense. No blood for the blood god. Squirrel. Uh, I ought to thank you. How has it been? It has been quite bad. I am trapped in the body of a stoat, in the paper of a card. I see that. And I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here, they already hold the key. I already hold the key? I still haven't used this fish hook. Hmm. Stump here and two bees. So I guess I'll just summon the stoats. So summoning the stoats in a place where he's going to get attacked is going to give me bees in my hand. I don't, even, I don't even know if there's a value in playing the golden pellet unless I need to stop damage. So I get... Where's my bee? Oh, because these guys fly. They didn't take damage. Ah, shit. Of course. Um, if putting out a stunted wolf doesn't really help me. Put it here to do some damage. Here we are. Uh, well, a mantis won't attack him either. Fuck. Woof. Hmm. Damage went through to the bullfrog. That's unfortunate. Um, well, he's going to kill him. So you found the stunted wolf. I have seen this play out enough times to know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. Will do, man. Uh... 
put it here so it doesn't get hit by the mantis. Oh, I, I probably should probably just play the golden pelt to stop myself from being hit, I suppose. But, um... So put out the scroll. Sacrifice these two. Kill the bullfrog. Yeah. Get my bee. I concede. I guess I want to overkill though. I still- wait. Wasn't I meant to get Shadow as a card? I should not have played that there. Oh, whatever. Oh, I got no overkill gold. Huh. Can't wait for words to kill to come out. The demo looks sick. Never heard of it. I did exact damage. Yeah, okay. Trial of blood, three drawn cards must equal four. Blood, four power, or three sigils. Ah, uh, all seem hard. Four blood. Ah, uh, no, four blood is actually a guarantee. No, no, it's not. No, it's, I'm looking at health. One, one, two. Yeah, four blood might be the easiest. No. Four health. Oh, no, four attack. Four attack is definitely the easiest. Yeah. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Oh, good. Okay, never mind. It's fine. It's fine. Trial was passed. Ooh. So, he guards... When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to the empty space. Rabbit hole. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. So I can use that for sacrifices. That's very good. Um, and these are just airborne, which is not super significant. River snap isn't too bad, but this, this I definitely want. Okay. Now... Sacrifice all items. I like sacrificing things, combining them together, but I but I ran out of cars last time. Mm. I should have used a squirrel to get more space. Like, I can't think of all the combinations that I could make until I get here. Am I your choice? No. So we're moving... Moving beehive to something else is always better. Um, it's tempting just to move it to golden pelts. I still don't know what golden pelts do. You know? It has the most HP. Exactly, I'm running out of cards, so maybe continuing to sacrifice is not the greatest move. Because the Golden Pelt is used to block damage anyway, at least from what I've seen so far. You took the film roll. Is that correct? My plan nears its moment of truth. But you must defeat him first. <laughs> Me again. A lucky draw. Okay. So he still has bees, so I want him to be attacks. Ringworm? None of these guys attack. Oh no, so they do two damage right now. Hmm. But they will at, at that point. Um... So, but he'll at least survive. And Stinkbug will also survive. 
Okay. I still don't know what I'm meant to be doing with this hook. <laughs> Got my bee. Problem is, he can't kill him. Which is not good. Pack rat, which will give me an item. Hmm. He needs to be struck to get the bees, so maybe I want to leave him there so he gets struck again. Um. So I'll kill the stink bug so that I can kill the worker ants. No, no, I'll, yeah, I'll do, uh, yeah, no, put, the, put this out, I'll sacrifice them both, so I can kill this worker ant too. I don't want a third worker ant coming down here. What item did I get? I got a boulder. What is this ringworm even doing? It just sitting there. He doesn't sacrifice stuff, does he? So what's the point? I have a woof. Me doing one damage here, which sucks. How close is he to death? Not very close. I can put a boulder against this. Uh, that worker ant will kill this because there's two worker ants here. Uh, so what I really want to do is kill one worker ant. Fuck it, I'll use this. Okay. More ants? No. Um, because the worker ant's going to kill my woof. Unless, no, we're only at halfway. Um, this is a harder fight than it really should be. If I could just get the squirrel on the board. No. So he's going to kill him. Bloodhounds. Yeah, killing a worker ant is more important than killing a skunk. Um, this I needed before. I'm doing more damage than he is. Does he even have any more cards? So this, this does no damage, right? Never doubt the fecundit, fecundity? I've never heard of that before. Fecundity. What does that word mean? Uh, assume it relates to how much rabbits fuck. Probably means make a lot of babies. Oh, so just the ability to produce an abundance of offspring or new growth. Fertility. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, this doesn't even seem that good now that I've got it, but giving this ability to something else would be nice. Hmm. My last card, Golden Pelt. So this will give me a bunch of bees that I can use to carry to my victory. Okay, I'll win right now. That's also fine. <laughs> what is this? You encounter a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the trader that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Go for it. That is a golden pelt, Magnificence. I can trade you for any of these. Take your time. I mean, he's cool, but summoning him would be hard. Strange lava? How much stronger does he get, though? Mantis God? Oh, he attacks three locations? That's sick. This is like a winning thing, but this is really good. The lava gets seven damage? I think I'd rather... I don't have a lot of ways to get four. I'm gonna go with Mantis God. 
These pearls are most excellent, my thanks. I only had one pelt, that's right. So, I could use this to upgrade Mantis God. Or I can use this to get items. Um, I don't know what this is up here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with upgrading Mantis God. And plus, it has an easier fight coming up afterwards. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its power. Okay. There was no other dialogue. Upgrade the Mantis God. Fire warms the weary Mantis God and enhances its power. You suspect the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your Mantis God in tow, you retired into the woods. Are they ever going to eat me? Okay. Um... I'll just wait. I'll just. I'll just let them. I'll just take the damage. Okay. So with a second squirrel, I can now summon both stink bug and this guy. Give me an item. What the fuck is that? Oh, just bones. Okay. And stink bug here. Okay. I've still got this boulder. That's a nice boulder. Be doing damage to me? Am I close to death? I, I am, but I should get some back here. Hmm. I can kill the stink bug. No, I shouldn't. Oh, mantis. No, this is fine. This is all fine. Do I just want to focus on summoning the woof? Yeah, I do. Yeah, this is fine. Because the bee will do no damage because of stink bug. A mantis will die to the pack rat. Then I can use both squirrels to summon this. Um, do I even want to get the stump out of the way? No. He has so many bees. The bee can fly over. Yeah, we'll get a random card. Warren. Uh, again, this is just going to give me a bunny. Which is not particularly amazing. I overvalued that card when I picked it up. Mantis God. ba da ba I, I, why did I not put Manus God there to kill the bee? Whatever, we're gonna win anyway, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Does the Manus God's attack count for six in terms of overkill damage? That's crazy. Is it doing six damage? That's nuts. So I could have got way more there if I wanted to. Um, I don't want any of these. Where's dogs? Um, I go with this thing this time. Skink. Okay. I've already experienced skink. Okay. Now, this will just upgrade Mantis God again. I don't know what this is, though. Uh, fuck it. We'll upgrade Mantis God. We'll figure out that later. Crackling fire lit the starving faces of the group of survivors. We have not food, one said. But perhaps one of your creatures will join us, enhance its health, said another. <laughs> oh! I can upgrade health too? Fuck yeah. The health of the man has was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. That's crazy! This is the boss. The mud tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. A huge man approached. 
go fish. Squirrel. An angler. Mind his hook. Play a squirrel. Or something. When he aims it. That will protect you, your best scars. Okay, so... I killed him so quickly last time, I didn't get to see what he does with the hook. But, uh, okay. So, I'm gonna summon the mantis god here. Um... Stink bug will make the kingfisher do no damage. May as well kill this to get myself a rabbit. Okay. Wow, he just did six damage immediately? <laughs> I mean... Go fish? Ah, crap, I'm gonna summon all his things at once. Uh oh. If I had the wind thing to make me fly up into the air, I'd be on easy street. Shit. Um. These two don't kill this, but he kills them all at once. Uh-oh. Um. And they will attack back immediately, and it will kill my mantis god. Um. What does this hook do again? Oh shit, I didn't want to do that. There aren't any pulls that you can make. To the user, hook one of my cards and take it as your own. Oh, I must have an empty space, I see. Okay, I should be able to sort this out. Um. This is fine. Go fish. Right, because he's not going to attack again. And now he's... Mantis God, no! Okay, so... Um... Shit. Um, but he's nowhere close to death. I'm, I'm going to die. Okay, well... I, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, um... Pat rat. Okay, uh... So first off... Place the boulder here. Then we will... Um... So we'll leave these bait by themselves, and we'll just take this guy. Okay. Um, so I want to leave this as is, and so we're trading right now. And we'll leave that. And this gives you a trade backwards and forwards. Okay. But then this will eventually break. So... No, but I can block his damage with just, like, a scroll. But I may as well put the stout there instead, though, and get a B. Because then the B will go over there. If I have one B with the Great White doing five damage, he'll die. Oh, wait, it goes over anyway, because he's submerged, of course. Easy game. Easy life. <laughs> Your lives are restored. Okay. Yeah. Choose carefully. So I don't like this bell dude. He must get really strong though if you can get his bells done. Ah, oh, but like it's four blood. When do I have four blood? Um I mean if I summon him early. Yeah, we'll go for it. Moving past the pond, you took a deep breath of fresh air and continued on. Okay. Hmm, oh yes, I know. The relief of the fresh air quickly gave way to a bone-shaking chill. You guessed at the path ahead as the snow increasingly obscured it. You had climbed to the snow line.
The trial of kin. Two of the three drawn cards must be kin to pass. Trial of health, six health. Trial of wisdom, three sigils. I don't know how to tell just from here people's kin. This is the only one with a kin, right? Because it's wolf. So I think that's... I'm screwed. I mean, these would be kin. These would be kin. I mean, I don't know. One, two, three. These would be kin. I think I get screwed. So health. Uh, health looks hard as well. But doable. Sigils. Well, everything has a sigil, except these two. So, I would have to hope that the three cards that I draw aren't, don't contain those two. But th those have doubles, those have doubles. Yeah, sigil's probably the best. It's two? Easy. Easy. Well, I drew them anyway, then. Two from Bloodhound, one from Stout, and zero from Stunted Wolf. Success. Uh, what the f... Fecundity. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. Ooh. What, a copy of it with fecundity? So I can just keep summoning more and more field mice? Touch of death. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Oh my god. That's sick. This is OP. If yeah, fuck. Well, actually, this isn't bad either. I could keep summoning it and keep... Because this would unkillable. When a card bearing this sigil perishes, a copy of it is placed in your hand. So I would get one back every turn, and I'd also get bees. But I still have to summon it. No, 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 we're good with this. Good with this. Okay. That's cool. Um, so I have no items right now. I could sac- So I don't know- Well, you sacrifice something, and then you get, like, permanent effects. The permanent effect was pretty good. Last time. But items are good. I think, yeah, the, the last time was just one bone. I'd have to give something really strong to get something good. We'll go with the atoms. Considering I'm completely empty of atoms. <sighs> Flying above was really useful. Well, it would have been that one turn I needed it. Frozen possum seems better. The block damage. Um, uh, I mean, like, I don't need bones because the effect I have on my squirrels. This might save me, but I'll take scroll. Oh, uh, oh, oh no, you can't use that. Failure. To the user, nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. I don't believe you. I do not believe you. I'm taking it. So this is a hard fight. Oh, they have skink tails? Oh, no. So I have to kill everything twice. We meet again. So, when I kill them, they all jump to the side and make tails. But there's only four spaces. And Mantis God will make quick work of them. Losing one HP of the Mantis God is not something that I want, so I'm going to put him on the side here. Yeah. Wait, I could have just killed him immediately! I'm dumb! I would have killed him turn one! I'll still win, it's fine. Is doing two damage worth it anymore? Ah, oh, whatever. Um, uh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Oh, now the elk has grown up. Oh. Ah, the pain, the suffering. Oh my god. Okay, much can Forget that ever happened, and uh, Warren, whatever. I'm just gonna put this possum here and uh, forget everything that happened. And so Mantis God will kill them both. It's fine. 
Give me a squirrel. Uh huh. It's fine. Massive overkill. I have a lot of gold. Okay. Uh, well, we'll go with elk this time. The sadistic prongahorn. Woe be to those that meet the end of its antlers. Also just attacks either side and moves along. Okay, it seems okay. The decrepit wood carver appears before you. Okay, so if we make... I'm pretty sure I can get more than one at a time. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. So if I'm... If I get ahead... But I have to match the head to the bodies, right? Oh, only one totem? But infinite on squirrels is sick. But the question, Han, the question, um... I have to match the heads with the bodies, right? So, even if I got this head, I couldn't put it on one of these bodies, because they're squirrel bodies. The bodies are universal? Oh, so you just need one head. Any body, any head. Okay, so why would I ever pick a second head if I've already got a head? Regardless. Uh, infinite squirrels. You hunch down to place offering in your pack. When you look up again, the ancient woman had vanished. Okay. So. Um. This is another one of those. I don't need another one of those. I can't remember what this is. Uh. This is a harder fight, but it's fine. Getting a sacrifice again. I can't remember what all the symbols are. Let's just go up this way. I can upgrade my mantis again. How will you beat my infinite squirrels? <laughs> nice top deck. Thanks, man. Oh, it's the same thing as before. So I can summon everything. Um. Cool. Um, actually, the squirrel's gonna die. That's fine. Um, great draw. Thanks, man. So... So summon the bee, we kill the bee. Oh no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So there's two damage winner for me? It does. Good. Because the bee, bee threw over the top to do one damage and the stink bug did one damage. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, trial of health, six health. Trial of power... Four attack. Trial of blood. Four blood. Four blood! I do have quite a bit of blood. But attack. I only have one thing with zero. Health? Uh, health and attack seem the easiest. Let's go attack. Easy. What's this? Fingers crossed. Two from Thunder Wolf, two from Pack Rat, one from Stout. You have passed. I wonder if what trial you do influences what you receive. Probably not. Skunk. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. And it's 
Waterborne? I've already got one of these, though. I got, I got an infinite cat, but I don't really need infinite cat now. So I can just make an infinite amount of waterborne field mice? That doesn't seem very good, though. Corpse Eater, if a creature that you own per perishes by combat, a card bearing the sigil is in your hand is automatically played in its place. Hmm. Yeah, Waterborne kind of sucks for me. I think... I mean, I could sacrifice. Nah, I think Skunk is good. In Field my, my still isn't bad. I do already have one that's way better, though. Because I also have the infinite scrolls, so... But why would I want to continuously summon... Field mice? Because what I could do is have a scroll out there and a field mice, and... Sacrifice a scroll, field mice... Summon a field mice, get a new one, and then just do that infinitely, if I want to. But... Like, with two screws on the board, I can just get infinite field mice. But it's the submerging that's bothersome. But I might take it just because I might I can sacrifice it. Yeah, so what I should I rather than upgrading the damage again, I should just sacrifice it and make my mantis god. Crazy. Oh, can I not Oh, can I not do that? Oh, because it because it has two effects, I can't sacrifice it. That's unfortunate. Regardless, I should give the Mantis God an ability. Uh, which I guess is the tail. I want the tail. The tail so he gets attacked and he'll move. Yeah, right? Give him a little bit of protection. Was that better than one increased damage? I don't know about that. There's another symbol on the Mantis God, that's weird. So this just instant wins, right? Lol. <laughs> I should have increased his damage. Is another sacrifice. I can't remember what these symbols are. I have two items, so we'll go this way. Make my deck smaller to get mana scored better. Show me some... Oh, I don't have any pelts. You have none. Do you understand how disappointing that is? I must give you this. Use that to buy some pelts. Oh! Don't return empty hand again. Oh, he just gives me a bunch of gold. That's, that's not particularly interesting because I have fuck tons of gold, but still. Okay. So. We... Can give these two abilities to someone else. Which seems fine. Um just to make my deck small, I suppose. There's <laughs> three sigils, that's funny. I feel like I should have gone the other path. Okay, this goo better do something. See, I don't know when to use the goo, though. Do something, goo. You took in the familiar sight and sense of the trapper's pelts, but something was different. The once friendly man now beheld you with a steely gaze. I'm afraid I must be skinning you today. All right, scroll, infinite scroll, salutations. 
didn't get good stuff. Um, so leaping trap is bad, and strange frog makes leaping traps. So, uh, the infinite squirrel I want. Fine, I will use the girl. There's no possible use for it. I'll place it on the shelf over there for you now. My advice, avoid it. What? Can I leave? What? Can I leave and get it? I can't leave the table. Well, I guess I'll go look at it later. So... What I really want is to be able to fly over it, but they get the fence anyway. And that's coming up soon anyway. Um, doing two damage here, I think we'll hit the back row. No, I think it ha you have to. I think you have to hit the front row to hit the back row. Steel trap will kill wh whoever I put here. But I guess I want to do that just to clear the row. So put scroll here. Um, second scroll here. Sacrifice them both. I only needed one sacrifice. Okay, I fucked up. Whatever. Alas. And we'll. Oh! Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it didn't make... It didn't make bones, because it didn't actually get sacrificed. Okay, right. It didn't actually die. I'm dumb. Never mind. There's a bullfrog over there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's all cleared. Um... Yeah, I fucked up. So I can make that zero. He'll eventually break through that. This is fine. Wait, because he's killing my screw. Ah. Uh, This is terrible. Uh, I fucked myself. I royally fucked myself. Okay, now that I have Fieldmeister, this is not as bad. So I can sacrifice both of these and place this here to stop that damage. Uh, Lucentius? What is it? Li Lys lice entrus field mice. Always breeding. I guess it implies they're like lice in how numerous they are or something. I'm about to die. Um, it's going to do two damage and bring me from the brink of death. Um, so they're doing two damage, I'm doing two damage, so I will live. I'll put this here for next turn so I can summon better things. Okay. Um, yeah, so summon Squirrel. And get another field mice out here. Okay. Okay, uh, need another scroll. Then I can get another field mice. It's gonna give me a pelt, but that doesn't matter. We'll get rid of the adder too. The wolf is coming and it will kill my field mice. But I will keep summoning the field mice. And hopefully I'll eventually break through. Yeah, we're doing it. 
Field mice for the carry. We have infinite squirrels and infinite mice. Okay. Yeah. Woo! Exquisite pelts, but the cycle must continue. Let's trade. Uh, hello? Powerful cards, I would accept only the finest pelts for them. I... I guess this is why you need pelts. Trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay in five me. Oh! Oh, should I just... I just... Oh, I just bought the adder? Okay, well, hopefully that's good, I wasn't paying attention. Uh... I only have one more pelt. So... The buck is probably the best. The buck is crazy because it gets stronger next turn. Uh, all these are crazy. I would have chosen differently. Well, fuck you too. Uh-oh. And I can't even summon anything this turn. Okay, well, at least I got rid of the guy in the back there. Um, I have no items up here, do I? No. Um. I can't summon anything. Barbara, when an empty space would be struck, a card bearing this signal will move to that space, receiving the strike instead. Well, this guy, Adder kills whatever it touches. So, I guess I'll use it to kill the Grizzly. And that clears that row. Uh, well, I, well, I really wish the adder hadn't just killed itself there. I have no more screws. You can run out of screws. Oh no. No, I just, no. Why the man has got now and not before? Oh my god! If I had gotten the Mantis God at any point before then, I would have been fine. Oh my god, that sucks so much dick. Had I known he did that mechanic, I would have played differently, dude. Oh man. Please try to remain alive for just a short while longer. I would like a memento. Your death card. Let us begin. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Uh, well, they're all two, so. Two blood. And another, this time I will use its power and health. Well, I guess it's the highest power and health. Um, well, these, these are very good sigils. Single of fecundity and touch of death. I never did ask your name. I, I haven't gotten the last ones from before. What do I call this, chat? Someone said, uh, yeah, we'll call it Davy. It's fine. Davy. Prepare yourself. Death awaits. Are you ready? Black. Well, we gotta go check out that ooze. I didn't deserve to lose, man. Trapped and then traded. Are you prepared for a fate such as that? What are you looking at? Keep your eyes on me. That foul stunted wolf. You really want such a creature in your deck? The side of it does try my temper, but it has been dealt, so it stands. 
Okay. Okay, where is this ooze? I no longer have my eye. Arg. The pain is unbearable. Even after all these years. What do you want? I have very little to live for these days. Arg, it's done. The master's free. Oh, the end must be close now. If Magnificus is free, it must be close. Arg, watching the angler lose. Now that soothed my pain. An old rival is of mine, that fisherman. He bested me this time, but I will have another chance. Oh, I see you have a little something special up your sleeve. Fear not, I won't blow your cover. You just need to get a hold of that camera of his. Maybe if you defeated him, you would get a chance. Yes, I see that you have a little special something special. All you need is the opportunity to use it. I have seen challengers touch his legendary camera, but only if they're able to defeat him. So if I beat him now, I can use his camera, like steal his soul or something. I could probably take that gold every time. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh! Oh, I, I... Did I just snuff out one of my free lives? Did I just give up my life? No? Oh, it's just a gimmick thing? Okay, okay. Oh. I missed that first line. I've seen stuff come out of it. Rog. But only if the cards are aligned just right. How do I move the cards? First step would be getting those cards in your deck. Oh, so if I get Squirrel and River Snapper in my deck, then maybe it will show me more cards? Okay, so I gotta, I gotta look for a River Snapper. Okay, so we look for, we've, we've already got a scroll. We need a river snapper. Okay. Um, this is the thing that I want to go for so that I have an effect on my scrolls all the time. Hopefully. This gives me cards, though. I think this path is better. I get two of them here. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking for a river snapper, so I guess this one? <gasps> I got it! Okay. Back out we go. Take a picture, it will last longer. Does the squirrel actually have to be in my deck and not just... I don't know. If I you, I'd leave it alone. Unless you can place those cards exactly right. Oh! I have to get into a fight and place those cards exactly right. Okay. So I want the uh, screw on the right and then snap it next to it. You came upon the old woodcarver who fixed her... You came upon the old woodcarver who fixed her intense gaze upon you. After an overlong moment of silence, she moved to offer her carvings. So I have a head. So my squirrels will reduce the attack of anyone I'm against. Then what's the point of giving me another head? What's the point? Why is another head significant? Oh, it's so that it affects wolves and not squirrels. Oh. Or take this for now. It's not super significant, but it's alright. The grey-haired woman silently collected her carvings and left. Okay. So, we want the river. We got him, we got him. Okay. Um, so, we'll... Um, maybe I shouldn't have summoned him. Oh, because then I couldn't... I'll go, we'll do the thing another time, then. Or will I? I should have put my scroll there. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this gimmick right now. Um. 
Okay, so we'll just, we'll just get a squirrel next turn. Oh, wait. But I need his board to be cleared as well, I guess. This won't work. Wait a second, but now I can't leave. Or did I just get that... Did I just get that knife? No. I can't leave. May I need to finish the game with the board like this? I will check it afterwards to see if it works. Um... Me, it doesn't consider the my opponent's board. So... We'll summon this dude. I must trust you. You must. Am I dying? Kind of. Bullfrog will counter that. Okay. It is only the first fight. Yes, I think you've got me this time. That I do, but we'll just uh, go for overkill. Um, can't increase my damage more than I have. I love how the ooze had to spell this thing out to me. Like, it seems so obvious now. Oh. I have a pot with a flower? Clearly the pot must go somewhere. Tell me, ooze. Arg. You really did it? I knew I had seen stuff come out of that painting. Bring it here. Arg. Nice work. You solved the mysterious painting, for now. Defeat him once more, that should do it. He has no idea what you have what you have up your sleeve. I guess it's just meant to stay there for the time being, okay. Spin! All right. Surely I can get these at some point. Okay. The inevitable maggot, they will lurch forth from your hand when your creatures are killed. Grizzly skunk, the reviled skunk, its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. Uh, I want grizzly. I definitely want grizzly. Items, I already have two items. We'll go for this, um thing here. The woodcarver. Um, this is infinite, right? When a card bearing this sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. Perfect. That's, it's hypothetically even better than the thing I had before with a squirrel, because now I can get, like, more squirrels on my hand. I think. Like, a, like, for sacrifices, it still works, right? Well, I guess we'll find out. So as I put a screw down here, I sacrifice it, I get another screw. Perfect. Fucking perfect. So put a screw, sacrifice it, get another screw. So, yeah. This is, this is flawless. This is insane. Uh... So I need at least three scrolls to summon him, though. I actually, no, I'll just give it the bullfrog. Fuck it. So any card that I draw that has, um, that requires two sacrifices, I can do. Okay, yeah, okay. This, this, this is, this is perfect. This is, this is fucking insane. The covetous magpie, it can fetch any card in your deck. This li the licentious field mice. You will draw a car. You will draw a copy when they are played. Uh, I really like this. And given how my squirrels are, this is insane, right? Because I can just 
fill I can fill the board with field mice easily. Okay. Um yeah, so I don't need this anymore. I don't need items. Okay, let's let's see what I can put on field mice. If I can put something really good on field mice, we'll be on easy straight. I can't. Um, I mean this on field mice is still pretty crazy. Or the ability to defend against flyers. Now reducing the attack is probably better. Okay. I could wait for something better, but no, no, no. Okay. Greetings. So, uh, I guess the coyote is coming. So put a scroll here. Sacrifice this. Open this up. Ah, uh, well, I can do it right now. Can't I? Yeah, I just put I put out field mice now. Uh, so it doesn't really work. No. I should... Well, it made no real difference. It's not a significant difference. So, I want another one of these. Scroll. Scroll. Field mice. Um. Wait, I should have summoned the grizzly first. Not that it really matters, because I can just, um, put the screws out again. I really need this space emptied. Yeah. This deck is insane! Um, okay. River Snapper. Um... It's not really much better than field mice, though. Okay. Um, is there a way to fill this? I don't think there is. I just win, though, right? Okay, almost. So then we just, uh, field mice this bitch, then, uh, squirrel, and then stouts here to get rid of coyote. I think they're dead anyway. Am I sure? I am sure. Killing my enemy is a very good way to win. What was this again? Oh, the, the, this, this person. My pelts are clean. So. I may as well just buy all the pelts. Okay. Oh, it gives, just gives me more and more gold pelts. So, okay, I get, I get it, I get it, I get it. Gold pelts are annoying for my hands, for for fights because they take up spots of other cards, but they're very good for the final fight. Right. But I think, like, does gold pelts enable me to buy better creatures? Or is it just less of an inconvenience having a gold pelt because it has three defense? I don't know. Um, <laughs> upgrading the strength of field mice would be nice. I don't need another one of the things. The totems. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire enhances health. Oh, it's health? Uh, I mean, oh, plus two health? Hell yeah. Plus two health on field mice. Alright. The health of the field mice was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Okay. 
All right. Greater smoke? That smoke it is great indeed. Uh, is that because I found the other smoke before? You passed a massive empty bowl surrounded by heaps of unidentifiable giblets and scanting scantlings. It seemed the bowl was designed for a dog. But what earthly hound would require a meal of that size? Where's that hound of mine? I don't know what this is about. <laughs> Boss time, eh? Okay, so we've got to kill this pack mule again. So, uh, we want to kill the coyote, which the stoat can do. Uh... Or I can summon the river snapper. Go okay, summon the river snapper. And the uh, thing here, stoat. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. Another golden pelt, get real, dude! This wolf is gonna level up. Bullfrog is not particularly interesting. Was it even worth playing, considering the coyote is gonna kill it? I mean, it does do one more damage. Stunted wolf. Are you sure? I am sure. We're about to kill this pack. Got rid of one of its one of the boss's lives. There's gold in them cards. Oh, that's right, and it's gonna destroy all my cards, of course. I did this quick though, so I should be fine to get the pack mule. Rabbit pelt. All I've got's pelts. Clear my board. Thank you. Grizzly, I do not have enough to summon this. I guess we'll destroy these pelts. I do get to keep them though. Uh, it's my last card. Field mice. I needed that like 50 years ago. So next turn I'll be fine because he will clear this. He will clear this. I'll get two squirrels and then I'll summon the field mice. Okay. So now I have my squirrels. You're done for. I'm fine on health. I should kill the wolf though. No, no, I, I almost fucked up there. <laughs> okay. Um, then I summon again. Kill the adder. Then I block. I could have summoned the grizzly, why didn't I? To kill this guy. Then I put the scroll. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Uh, we're about to get the pack mule, not that it's really gonna matter. Put out another scroll. All the cards. My mule and her pack. If only I could clear this thing over here, the gold nugget. I mean, the rest of this doesn't really matter. Anything with one? I could have summoned the cockroach. And now the adder can't do anything. Okay, whatever. Winner! This deck is crazy. You will not perish quite yet. How could I lose this? Perhaps one of these will entice you? So, the problem is, I don't want my deck to become too big, and I can't give another sigil to my 
pack rats? Or what are the, the, the summoning rats? I shouldn't have given the sigil that I gave to them, that was dumb. Um, touch of death is really good. Like, that I could give it to someone else. Like I could give touch of death to... Um, the snapper, because it has 6 HP and 1 damage. I'll take the long elk, with the assumption that I can, um, trade it and give its power to someone else. Free of the prospector's unhinged gauge, you look ahead. We will need another map. As the air grew humid, your boots became hard to pull from the mud. The dank smell of tepid water invaded your nostrils. You had reached the wetlands. That's just, uh, uh, another statue which I don't need. Don't need this, don't need that. Um, remove card. Yeah, so go around this way. Worker ants, yeah, who cares about that? River otter, um, unkillable is something else that I want. It's effects, I mean. Black goat for summoning, this will help me be able to summon the bear immediately. But... The, uh, having this would also really help me. Because, like, I can stab with the blade and then just lift up all my creatures. I don't think I need this summoning because I've got squirrels. Yeah, we'll do this. Infinite squirrels. Oh, golden pelts immediately, dude. Why? Well, get a squirrel out there, get stunted. Um, they submerge themselves, so... These don't even block their attacks. I think. Or do they? No, because they fly over the top, that's fine. So I just need damage. Long elk. He looks awful. Yeah. My stunted wolf counters their damage right now. I just need something that... No, I should have picked up another squirrel. I'm dumb. Um, killing these. Make this. So, uh, his order will kill my squirrel, giving me another token phone. Uh, no, I didn't need another squirrel. We're, we're fine. Okay. So, the elk can now be summoned. No, I don't need to put this pelt. It does nothing. Okay. So the river also will still not die. Cockroach. I do not have more bones. I just needed more damage and I'm just not getting it. The raven egg is gonna spawn. Bullfrog is good, because I can finally uh, stop one of these guys. I need more bones. Stop his damage there, which will give me some bones. So they have the raven now, which is problematic for me. Am I just dead? I might have to use the knife. Because he... Because he's doing four damage over the top. I can block that, block that, and he does three damage. And so I die. Yeah. Oh, I have to draw first, of course. Okay. Grizzly... Um, 
So he do one. So he do um, one damage. I block his damage. Two. So he does four, and I do four attack. So yeah, we should be fine without the stab. I mean, now I actually have this as well. Not that it really helps me. Um, we attack the raven because he doesn't duck down. Okay. We live. Okay, so the raven will now die. This spot you sure don't you question me. So the raven's dead and we're making progress. So he's doing two damage each turn while I'm doing six. So he should just die here. And field mice was of course my last card, you stupid fucking machine. I I could have overkilled for more gold. That was silly. Okay. I, I don't know what I want. Ants? That's terrible. It's like the worst possible card I could have picked up. Am I just going to sacrifice the ants? I still don't know. He wants a blood sacrifice. I still don't know if the rarity of the card matters. I think... Does like the border dictate its rarity? Or, like Maybe it's how many sigils it has? Influences what I get? I'm just going to sacrifice the work ant because it's like the only valueless card that I have. And so now I get one bone at the beginning of every turn. Or maybe it's always just one bone and it's not something different. I don't know. I could look at chat to find out, but I don't want to. So the bees will kill my squirrel. Not that it really matters. Uh, no, because they fly over the top, so I could... I didn't even need to put this down, but I'm just going to put it down for the hell of it. Okay. So he has infinite bees, and I just need to draw squirrels. I need a third squirrel, so that I can have my grizzly. I mean, is it going to be fast enough? It's not fast enough. I'm dumb. Because 3 plus 2 equals 5! 3 plus 2 equals 5. I'm dumb. I don't know what this is yet. We'll go see that because I don't need that. Okay, wolf. Uh, wolf that's not particularly useful. Can I just leave without it? Because that'd be great. Whatever. You find yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through a thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists. Mycolo my mycologists? Yes. Yes. And we are performing our experiments far from, from... We are not welcome elsewhere. We would experiment on your flock, yes. We will need two of the same creatures. One for each of us. Okay. I think this could get messy. Look away. The pelts, my guys. Oh! The golden pelt, it is now one. Uh, I think it's going to be worse for me in the future. In terms of selling stuff. Maybe, maybe we're very good, I don't know. We start with one bone. Alas, we meet again. I mean, seems kind of sad to see me. That's not cool. So I guess I don't want to kill this ringworm. But anything else I summon will die to the ants. So I will sacrifice this and uh, put him there. And put him there to block their damage. 
It says no reason to summon the bullfrog. Ah, uh, no, this is this is fine. This is fine. I want a second squirrel. So squirrel, squirrel, wolf, wolf. Um, the damage will go through here. Yeah. It, ringworm would be bad to kill. Let's not do that. So, he, Wolf will kill both of those. I need something that does two damage. It's not, it's not good. I mean, that'll block a lot of damage. I may as well do one damage. These fucking ants, my guys. River Snapper is good, that does one damage. My wolf is about to die though. Yes, good stuff. Okay. So, that's the sacrifice I was going for. Can't remember why I was doing that. Did I do that? What is this? It looks like it's giving me cards, I want this. Okay, so, when uh, do I want to give infinite to something or death touch to something? I guess I want to give infinite to something, right? Because cockroach is bad right now. And I'll give it to grizzly? I mean, the value representing card counter, I mean, if this is really good, then I should make this infinite. But it won't tell me what it does. But I could summon infinite grizzlies. Like, infinite grizzlies just wins the game. Well, actually, I can only have two on the board at a time. But I could always summon them. I could just always summon grizzly bears. Now, I can't imagine whatever this does is better than infinite grizzly bears. I just, I just can't, I can't fathom that. Wait, no, it's not infinite grizzly bears. It just means whenever one dies, I can summon it back. You beheld an immense man slouched beside a mucky pond. He appeared to be tearing hunks of flesh from a fle fish corpse. Some chunks were thrown back to the pond where a few gaulish birds snapped them up, and some were sloppy, sloppily pushed into the hulking man's mouth. You bring fresh fish. Easy choose. Easy choose? Okay, hello again. Okay, I have not drawn very well here. Um, these fucking fishy dudes. So there's no value to stopping him. Uh, I can summon the river snapper, but for what purpose? I would just do less damage. So this is that thing again where they... I need to be prepared though for the fish things that he summons. Oh, is he trying to st oh, he's st oh, he's stealing my... My scroll. What a dick. So I should just sacrifice him, right? So he can't steal it. You get fucked. Oh! New fish, easy choice. Oh! Oh! He, he just tries to bring back the last thing that was summoned. Gotcha. Well, then I may as well just give him a pelt then.
I take new fish. Easy choice. You eat my pelt, bitch. Mine now. Go fish. Okay. So... Better card. Field mice. Here we go. Okay. Uh, I need another squirrel, though. I have death touch on this, but it has no value at all. Yeah, let's wait for another scroll. Because if I can put... If I can put field mice in front of these, I'm golden. Oh, but he'll steal my field mice at some point. I want him stealing a squirrel either. Oh, shit. Uh, how is he going to steal it, though? Because there's something in the way. Okay, so let's see what he does here. Oh, he pushes it back. Oh. Oh, okay. Is he just going to keep stealing stuff? He's not. Okay, good. Okay. Kill both these. Put this here. Do this. Kill both these. Put this here. So now both of these will do no damage. Kill both of these. Put this here. Okay. So now, these three do no damage. Or do one less damage. Okay. Piece cake. Um. But I'm still gonna die. Oh, shit, I'm dumb. Uh. I said before I should prepare for when this happened. And I didn't really prepare. So... No, I'm fine, because then I use this. So first things first, we sacrifice this and put this out here, which is to overkill. And then we use this. As I planned last game, and now I win. Ha <laughs> ha! Get wrecked! See, I planned ahead, and I persevered. Reignite. Perhaps one of these will entice you. The stalwart mole man, the ultimate defense. Barrow, when an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space and receive the strike instead. Okay. That's actually really good defense for only one. Sacrifice. The eternal serpent, death strengthens it forever. I mean... This is just a more expensive version of the squirrels that I already have. So I guess I'll just go more, man. That is cool, though. Yeah, okay. I see chat on my left, like, moving very quickly. No. Oh, it upgrades? Oh. My chat's moving very fast to my left. I know I've done something wrong. <laughs> So I guess every time it dies, it would get a little bit stronger. That would have been pretty cool. I mean, I would have had to summon it every time for two. No, that would have been crazy because I have the squirrels. I could have just kept resummoning. Ah, oh, god damn it. The angler's foul smell slowly faded as you continued on. I don't need a chat. I'm fine. A moment. Sheets of icy snow battered your body as you fought your way up to a vantage point. The snow-covered trees jutted from the landscape like prickly misplaced teeth. You continued on through the snow line. So I got... I can upgrade... So I can upgrade my field mice here. Or I can give someone an ability. I still don't know what this does, because it won't tell me. Um, I can move these abilities to... I mean, it's pointless to move it there. I can move these to here as I originally planned, which would be very useful. And give me, uh, make it even easier to pick up field mice, which would be good. 
Or I can just upgrade field mice. I think I should just upgrade field mice. Yeah. It's an easier fight too. I don't I don't know what that is there. Okay. Are your pelts clean? Oh. Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. Um all of this is trash. Can I say no? I have to accept? I have to accept? I mean, the skink tail ability is good to move on to stuff, but I don't know if I have the opportunity to move it on stuff. I don't really need the bees. The bees can fly, which is useful. I guess I should take the beehive. Question mark? What have you done to that pelt? It's monstrous, yet I must have it. What do you think of these? Oh, <laughs> what? Ah. Uh, so it's given me merged creatures as well. So. The duplicate for child th I still don't know what this does. You said it was very good, but... This must be crazy when it gets up upgraded. The Mantis God is just crazy. And I can give it... An ability. I can give it Death Touch. I'm just gonna take Mantis God. And not misplay it this time. You have my gratitude. Okay. So I can either upgrade Mantis God or give it an ability. I can't use those in the sacrifice. Um, all I could give it is this. Which would be good, but not crazy. I think I'm better off just upgrading Mantis God. But, I mean... I need to find a way to give Mantis God unkillable or whatever. But upgrading field mice is just so good. Now, if I just win games, if I can give Mantis God one more strength. And it only needs one to summon. Yeah, I don't think I have any good, good enough abilities to give to him. Yeah, so we'll see if we can give Mantis God one more attack. Because then he just does six damage and you just win a minute. Oh, he's got two more HP. Uh, so we give two more HP to someone. But like, <laughs> if I give two more HP to Field Mice, I, I just win the game. Like, Yeah, I'm just giving it to- I'm giving it to Field Mice. There's- there's no fucking way. The health of Field Mice was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. So I'll hold back Mantis God until I can just do six damage or whatever. Um, yeah. Okay. Start with one bone. Scroll. Greetings! We're starting with field mice. Okay, perfect. Um, Mole Man can stop the vulture. Or... Uh, well, I may as well summon... Yeah, I can summon field, field mice immediately. Is that really valuable, though? I guess. 
I mean, I could, I could just sacrifice Mole Man to... No. No, he will attack, then I will attack, then he will just kill him. Actually, yeah, we'll, 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 yeah, uh... So I'm gonna stop three damage. No, I'll stop six damage with him. Or I can do four damage. Yeah, fuck it, which way? Okay. Uh, I guess we need it now. I wish I could fill the final spot. He's gonna die anyway, like, you know. What does this thing do? We'll find out. Oh, it's how many cards I have in my hands. That's actually really useful for me because I always get my squirrels back. That's pretty sweet, actually. I don't know what this is. I should know this. This was the experimentation where I brought two things that are the same together. I do not have two things that are the same. So doing this is pointless. Um, the sacrifice would enable me to get rid of a shit card. But this is giving me another card as well. Yeah, so I don't need this, so whatever this is, fuck it, we'll go this way. Maybe I can get a good thing to give my Mantis God. Oh, it's Shadow! The Pernicious Vulture, a Tyrant of the Skies. Uh, we're definitely getting Shadow. Got many lives and Trinket Bear for one, uh, life. Hell yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I want to know this, chat. Feel free to spoil this for me. Does giving this thing more expensive cards give me better rewards? Only goats. Okay. So I just want to get rid of a card that I don't value. Which is Beehive. Oh, and so every time I just get one bone. So this is more just a mechanic to slim your deck. Um, I was really hoping to get... Well, actually, I can now give this stuff to Mantis God, but that would be pointless. What I might do, actually, is I will give Mantis God's ability to chatter. No, I can give Manus God's ability. No, I can't. Never mind. If I could give it to Field Mice, that'd be fucking crazy. Um. Yeah, Manus God's ability to Chatto would be good. I mean, it's not still not ideal. Because it's not like he's eternally just to be used as a sacrifice a lot. Uh, yeah, we'll see when we get there. I might find something better than that. I'm still having trouble remembering what everything does. Squirrel. Squirrel! Get it? It's from that movie! Up. So this will be stopped by the branch. The mole is annoying. Um... I can summon the wolf immediately. Mm. I'd have to kill the merman, uh, the mole man for that. 
That's fine. Okay, uh... Stoats. This means I can now summon the... Uh, long Elk. Which will kill this immediately with its one attack. Do I want the wolf? Uh, yeah, the wolf will enable me to do... Yeah, don't need them all, man. Do three damage. Oh, wait, this dude moved over and blocked my attack. Okay, that was dumb of me. Snapper. This does nothing now because they're all flying. This is not good. I made a mistake. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Even though they're flying, I still attack flying. I'm dumb. Okay. This isn't like other card games. Whoops. There's the grizzly. So I can kill this dude with the grizzly. Yeah, that seems like a smart decision to make. Uh, I am i won't die. This is fine. This is fine. Did he just attack? Oh, yeah, because he attacked round, of course. This will do no damage because I have no cards in my hand. I'm about to die. Um, but this will block the attack, so I won't die. Yeah, because I put the squirrel in the wrong spot. Yeah. That was my bad as well. And um, the Grizz will get me health back anyway. Okay. So he will die. Um... Unless I summon something with 1 HP. What's my HP like? Yeah, I'm still gonna live. Uh, unless, I, unless I bring something out that only requires one blood, I may as well just get another scroll. Gives me more options in the future and blocks the damage. Mantis God. Ba -da -ba. Um, I can just win right now. Rather than killing the, um, pronghorn. Easy. Massive overkill. Actually, it wasn't massive, but you know. So, I want... So, I'm probably going to give the Mantis Gods a bit of leader chatter. Make my deck smaller. Doing this is pointless, so yeah, we'll go this way. I can't remember what this thing is. Oh, the trap. The... You won't find pelts within a hundred. You won't find better pelts within a hundred miles. Okay. So I want to buy some pelts for later. On the house. I have no money. Right, because I traded in my pelts already. Um, so I can buy cheap pelts, but it makes winning hands harder. I've only, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six, so we'll get this one. Okay. Okay. That'll do. You have my gratitude. Okay. So do I actually want... Yeah, because I'm, I'm basically just combining Mantis God and Shadow. Yeah, this, this, is, this is just a good move. This is, this is just a good move. This will be 12 damage. Crazy. Like, I just, I just draw a shadow and I win. <laughs> like, I, like, he just, he just dies. <laughs> I probably could, I probably could have got more damage there. 
I, 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 I should have seen. Like, I, was there anything in my hand that I could have summoned as well? That was just funny. I don't want more cards. Ants, I I gotta stop picking ants, man. Ants are bad. Your pack was full. Oh, it is full. Shit. But a small critter approaches. Pack rat? Yeah. Alright, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. It's fine. It's fine. So, this stabbing me in the eye, I think it gives me four. It gives me four here. The trapper sat hunched beside one of his traps, slowly cranking it open. He gingerly removed a mangled hair from the steel teeth, but left the trap unhinged. You shouldn't have come here. Okay. Got my squirrel. Didn't get shadow. Got the fucking worker ants. So, I think I want to hold on to the pelts. If they die, I think I don't get to use them. I'm not sure about it though. Okay, so... I guess I want to take these out immediately. And yeah, and because I can, I can use these to farm pelts for the next phase. So if I have eight pelts in my hand, I can just get everything that he has available. So ideally, I don't want to finish phase one until I have eight pelts. Okay. I'm not sure if the hand has a max amount you can have in it. It shouldn't be that hard considering I can just keep using the squirrel to stop their damage. Pack rat. Why did I do that? I didn't. Ah! Oh, you dumb fuck. You dumb fuck. Why do I always forget about inventory space? Why? The three. Chatter, here we go. But this will just wreck him and force me to too quickly go into the next phase. I guess I don't want that. I think I'd win regardless, but it, considering how I can use these squirrels to just stop his damage, I think I would just keep doing that. Oh, he is doing damage to me now. Okay, he's, he's about to kill me. Um, maybe I do need to use ch use Shadow now. Um, this is... The creature opposing... A card burning the sigil will... Wait, um... Oh, no, that is in the trap. Okay, huh? Um... So it should be fine just to do this now. Um. It attacks left to right, right? So this wolf will go first. Let's just move it here. It's fine. Okay. I think I could have got myself another pulse. Had I really wanted to, though. Wait, did he destroy everything on my side of the board? I can't remember. Ah, it is the end of my turn. Let's trade. 
Okay, so I have heaps of wolf pelts. I hope you brought pelts, because these creatures are prepared to rip your throat out. Trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. So, as long as nothing can kill Chatto, I just win. Uh, this doesn't kill Chatto, but it reduces its damage. It only does one damage, so that's fine. Chatto kills all these. So I guess I want to take this, take this, take this, take this, take this. Oh, it's my turn as well, so chat just kills that. Oh, uh, actually, if I had just taken the front row, chat would have just killed them in one. Right. Yeah, I could have just won there, but it doesn't matter. Legit doesn't matter. Okay. I finally beat him! Woo! Well, I beat this guy. I haven't beat the final guy. I, I, I could have overkilled for more damage. Why Why do I just celebrate winning? Oh, whatever. Let me relight your candles. Perhaps one of these will entice you? I, I'm pretty sure the gold does carry over. Don't want it. Strange lava. Another Mantis God. Okay, we have to take Mantis God if for nothing else that it has the ability that we want to farm to someone else. With the enigmatic trader and trapper now bleeding into the snow, you persisted. You could see a light in the distance. The end is near. Oh, let me think. The, oh, here, okay. So, we have one last chance to give the Manus God ability to someone else. I've got these fucking wolf pelts. I mean, it's... I mean, giving it to Long Elk would mean that he can kill three things at once. Because he has the death touch. Um, nothing else seems to matter. I can't remember what this is. What's this again, chat? What's this again? Oh, this is the trader with the pelts? But I've only got two. Ah. Oh. Then I'd give away both pelts. I can't give this to the grizzly because he's already been through the ritual. I think giving. Hmm. Giving this to Long Elk is probably more valuable. Yeah. Mantis God, give this to... Because this could just bring me back from the brink, where it's just like I'm against three and I just slam this down and instantly kill all three. Okay. Your eyes affixed themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light, a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, Surely this cabin marks the end of your trial. Let's see trials. So this is so this is my story of how I made it to this cabin. And so this this cabin is where I am now. I guess maybe. Uh, dude, what the fuck? Steps away from the strange cabin, you are presented with an opportunity. I didn't, I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you are able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. Tri trial of the ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. Trial of the swift. The three drawn cards must include a card with the sprinter sigil. Trial of Skins, the three drawn cards must include a Pelt card. Uh, I can't look at my cards. So I only have one of these, but I have two of these. I have no rings. I didn't even know rings existed. I know this won't let me look at my cards for some reason. No, no, I don't need three, three Pelts. 
ring worm is a ring? I don't have Ouroboros or a ring worm. Oh, I see. That's what the rings count for. I see. Well, I gotta just go with this one then. Let the trial of skins begin. Oh, I got- I won! I won! I won! I won! Our rabbit pelt is a pelt card? Success! I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game and you don't even need to draw them. The boon of the forest. You will start a battle with grand furs on all of your spaces. That's bad. The boon of the bone lord. You will start a battle with eight bones. That's good. The boon of the magpie's eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. What? What? Uh, yeah, I think this is the best one. We will repeat that once more. Another one? Oh. Oh, I see. So it's another trial. The trial of the fin. The three draw cards must include a card with the water born seal. I have none of those. Trial of rarity. Three drawn cards must include a rare card. I don't know which of my cards are rare. The, uh, must include a card with the airborne sigil. Well, I only, well, I have no airborne and I have no underwater. So we want, we gotta go for rares. Now, I, I got rid of Mantis God. Let the trolley of rarity begin. This is counted as a rare? This counts as a rare. Mole Man's a rare too. It's, it's the, it's the thing around the corners, right? Success. Choose boons. Boon of goat's blood. You will start a battle with a black goat on the board. So it's for, you can sacrifice for three. Boon of forest. You'll start with grand furs on all of the spaces. That doesn't seem very good. A boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. So, so I can magpie and draw two cards. All right, <clears throat> cool. I, d I, I don't know how I can lose. You managed to get both of my boons. I rarely say this, but I'm impressed. You have been a worthy adversary, but unfortunately I must soon put you to death. I mean, good luck, my guy. I'm, I'm so afraid to fuck this up now because it's it seems so in my favor. Oh, it's a tree guy. You took your time out there? And I'm itching for another game? Are you ready to play? I hope you are adequately prepared. Okay. Perhaps one more to be safe. Oh! Okay. Scroll. Oh, I don't, I don't get to pick my starting cards though. Fair enough. So what has he got here? He starts with a Mantis God. And a Mole Man. So... No reason to bring out the River Snapper immediately. No, I may, may as well say, um... Um, I just mean compared to this. So I'll just put this over here. Put the squirrel here. I mean, the squirrel's gonna die, but whatever. Do I want to let the pelt die? No, I guess I'll hold on to it. Remember, I've got the hook to steal something, destroy one of his cards, and I'm pretty sure this gives me four lives. Okay, so this will- he will die to Mantis God. What the fuck is this? Amalgam? I guess it's amalgamation. Okay. So... I guess just picking Shadow immediately seems like a good move. Shadow and Field Mice. Uh, 
Um, okay. Squirrel. Um, squirrel. I guess I want to put a second field mice. Shadow in the middle. I mean, unless he has something that just clears my board or something, I don't know how he wins this. That even hit the, his back row. God damn. You capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt, they were betraying you. <laughs> Louis was betraying me and Reginald. I remember that one fondly. Wait, are these people from like my, my friends list? Or my Steam friends? Lol. Well, they're gonna die to Shadow anyway. <laughs> I mean, what cards do I even want at this point? Um. I mean, pack rat will be useful later. I guess grizzly is better than field mice. Um, and long elk can be useful. So. Um, if I just want to do max damage, just put him there. Um, put the scroll back. I don't have another one to summon it, shit, but I can um, summon the Long Elk, which is even better. Because this is just going to clear all the stumps. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Death Touch, man. It's just 12 damage. It's 16 damage. If I can carry through. Can one life left? This damned moon. It's dramatic, yes. But it provides no value to my board. I wonder. What? Now that is value? So he has- he's doing one damage to all four squares, and he has 40 HP? But I have death touch, does that mean he dies immediately? Um, so I may as well put this out? Instead of the scroll? Um, I guess I can't cut it. Five damage. Um, I'm not even. Do, should I cut out my eye? Look at the sigils. True. Moonstrike. A card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It'll strike directly if no creature opposes it. Um,. Oh, Tidal Lock. At the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. Mighty Leap. So it just can block anything flying. For funsies? No, I think not doing it will probably give me an achievement, right? Or something? Oh, what? Elk? Wait, wait. The Elk just instant one-shots it because it has Death Touch? Are you for real? You really destroyed the moon? I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Go on. <laughs> I might just have the best deck that you can conceivably make. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my, did I just, I think I just beat him. Oh. Two FPS? That's weird. It looks different for you than it does for me. The fuck?
What is this? Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! And here, I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Okay. Hey there, I'm going to talk about the same thing. 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 I'm going to talk Oh, this is explaining, hey there, so game. that last part was him saying that he drew a card and it referenced the location. All right, you guys, I'm out here. Oh, Living my best life. Got my trusty headlamp and shovel. So this is the story. Always come prepared. He was, he was doing pack right. unboxings and he unpacked a card Ooh. that said a location that was near him. So he's now going to go to that location. Yeah, see? And the second he went into the forest, he had a... All right. That's why you always bring oh. an extra battery, boys and girls. Every time. You gotta come prepared. <sighs> okay. All right, this is it. And now, we dig. Digging? I thought it was leading him to the building, but maybe he digs a sign that tells him to go to the cabin? I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But, only one way to find out. <sighs> Why would Dwayne be in the ground? <laughs> what the fuck? Is that? Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. <sighs> but what is it? A floppy disk with an inscription written on it. What? They're, they're being damaged, right? Because that metal part's meant to be over. What the fuck? Guys, are you seeing this? I'm not, no. I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. Like, how would you even use the floppy disk? Can a floppy disk, like, even interface with modern systems? I'm sure there must be, like, there, there would be ways around it, but... Exactly! Okay, He's buying it from eBay or some shit. Alright. Wow, great video! That is a great video, man. Good job. Okay! Time to figure out what's on this thing. Is it gonna like suck him into the PC? Inscription. Oh, it's the game?
So it's like the people who Devolver Digital didn't really. They didn't really release the game, they found the game. Uh, well that's it, I guess. Do not celebrate- I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, challenger, you are worthy. Please do not be polite, dig in. What is this? Is this something wrong? It looks like meat. Your prize awaits. Very well. Come with me. Yeah, I didn't free the cards, so... Stand right there. Grab it. Who gave you that? Go! Did I not get him? Did I get him? There's a bunch of bodies there, I guess from dead people? Oh, so he's now a card. Can I pick it up? I guess not. What if I was too slow? I can't pick him up. There's dead bodies of me? Are you sure? You'd think there'd be other people. I, I, I pressed it. I thought it would teleport me somewhere. Oh, this is spooky. I can't see anything. If there's a jump scare here, I'm gonna be pissed. The card of his was on the wall here. Is there nothing else here? So then I just go start screen. 